Ja. Oh, and you're oh, and you're comparing it to what you remember. Yeah. And whether you appreciate it more now or. Well, I appreciate it then, but if I because like I was very religious growing up. Huh. Yeah. Um. Me it was more of a social acceptance thing. Sorry. Me it was a social acceptance thing. Oh, going to church. Oh, yeah. So you went to church for Well, I went to a Catholic school. The priest gave you the old rattle rattle. Um, it's more just a ritual we did like every Wednesdays. Yeah. Yeah, I went to, went to a Pentecostal school and we, did, we had a chapel. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know what gave my parents like a like the inspiration, but uh, on moving here, they uh, I think they just heard by word of mouth by acquaintances who are also Burmese immigrants. Yeah. Um, it's like oh, I think they just did it out of a recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Like oh, what's a good school we can send them to? Catholic. The Catholics have a good school system. Yeah. So we went there. have been doing like the Catholic Church has been doing what we now consider to be public works for a long for a long time. Oh. Please have cotter pins. Sorry? Please have cotter pins. <laughs> I am all I am all together today. No worries. Or worries. I'm actually slightly disappointed in myself because of the because of the rate of progress with the script, but... Uh. You want me to take a step out of it? What do you mean? The script? Uh, I think I should write it. Like, okay. I need to get better at it. Okay. But, um, it's just it's just the staying focused bit that get to me. Yeah. I need to play some uh, lo-fi hip-hop beats to relax and study too. Yeah. My go to for uh, that class for me. Oh, do I do I have to make cotter pins? I think I might have to make it, which is a which is disappointing. I don't know, like, um, lately, lately, like, in the mornings, uh, it broke. what broke? What, the, that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wow. Shit, sorry. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> yes, Nick, it was. <laughs> I think it'd be more than that. Clearly Japanese steel is what I want didn't is wasn't what I thought it was. Hey, I feel like the birds all use Japanese steel. I don't know, the packaging is Japanese. Is it from Bursals? Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, it's probably Chinese steel. Okay. Well, use a screwdriver. This is kind of the same. Kind of. Mm. Yeah, right. or, or sharpen this against the grinder, whichever. Uh, I'm going to have to make cotter pins. Yeah, right. 
Yeah? Yeah. All right. Cool. I don't think I don't think the space will be missing one screwdriver. Awesome. I have to, oh, don't have any cotter pins. So cotter pin is uh it's like you know a split pin. Oh yeah. But with a Beautiful. ring ring on the end. Okay. Oh. I swear I had some. Could you like get if you've got a if you've got a ring with a thread on it, could you like take a Dremel to it and bifurcate it? Like as in smooth it out, but where's the split coming from? Well, I mean bifurcate it as in use a Dremel to cut it in half. Use a Dremel with a cutting disc. <laughs> Yo, I, I think that's just too fine a job to actually. Maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe I should just dash off to Bunnings for a bit, and just get some before it closes. I'm sure the, the night is young. I could just go get some. Am I? Or. Thinking outside the box, just D D Y are this thing. Yeah. It could possibly Oh, it's a cotter pin, right? So uh sure. I got like a hit. <laughs> I just oh no. Yeah, but like what are you trying to do? I am going to mount a hinge. the hinge. Ugh. Yeah, this thing. So, uh, so I managed to weld that together. Nice. Cool. Idea is, this is going to. Yeah. Eh? No. Nah. Okay. How visible is it, is it going to be? Like that. Oh, yeah. So, it won't be very visible behind you. Yeah. Um, so the idea is, is that we use cotter pins to drill here and here mm -hmm. so that it, this can... Mm, I see. So I was thinking, yeah, this, is kind of, this is kind of like the shape we want. Is that going to be strong enough though? But we can use several. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Fail first. Fail fast. <laughs> Fail first. <laughs> Better to, better, to, uh, better to fail and have to redo it. The thing is, like, if it's, um, the thing is, is I'm going to put lining on top of it, so, so it'll be hard to access once the lining is down. The idea is, like, we use... We use these to hold them up. Maybe three? I'm thinking three is a good number. I guess so. No, I don't know. I've never done this kind of thing. 
Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I should uh, just go to head off to Bunnings and get some proper pins. Um. And do, do, do you not have them here or do you just not have them at all? Uh, like not here. So you have some at home? No, like I, I thought they were here. But... Okay. Here, which means you don't have them. Yep. Okay. So you thought there was like there was some here. Some... I I assumed a lot of things were here. <laughs> it's like the first thing you told me not to do <laughs> with this space. That's right. <laughs> and so today I asked. <laughs> I didn't assume. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I did oh, the, how the mighty have fallen. I've done. Yeah, I did the rookie thing. Yeah. Nope. It's it's all. It's Easter. It's Easter. Everything is closed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Awesome. Awesome. So what else can you do? Oh, use these pins. Use these. Uh... Yeah, right. I suppose if it works, works, eh? Oh, uh, what's the other thing I could do? I could, I could cannibalize like a. We have this. We have this, a steel rod which we could bend into what we need. This is true. How do you feel about that? I am confident in bending it. Um, You're confident in bending it? Yeah, of course. Cool. Excellent. That's what you want, right? I hope so. You don't sound very sure. <laughs> oh, it's, it's... What tips you are? I'm making an executive decision. We will use the rod and bend it into what we need. Oh my. We're using the rod. <laughs> you sure you don't want this? <laughs> they can hear me. Is there anyone watching you? Oh, here we go. It got like. Seven? <laughs> it was eight before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they were uncomfortable with the rod comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's what they came for. Oh. They came for the rod comments. That's weird. It's... Didn't cut very well. Ah, there it is. Yeah, get through that rod. It's so wide. <laughs> oh no. And... Oh and... up to eight viewers again. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say and down to six. <laughs> <laughs> Which look, I wouldn't blame them. Oh you. Yeah. Me. Me, me, me. Discovered there's a fifth season of Outlander on Netflix. So I started watching it last night. Oh. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. How thorough? Very thorough. Oh, okay, good. I love me, I love me some Outlander. There's not enough Scottish historical content out there. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. All I know is that there's Braveheart and that's it. And that's shit. <laughs> in terms of being historical and whatnot, um, Outland is like a proper glimpse into, into historical Scottish culture. Braveheart is a movie. What's his name? Mel, Mel Gibson? Gibson? Mel yeah. Gibson. yeah, it's Mel Gibson. Sorry? It's Mel Gibson with face paint. 
<laughs> Outlaw King is pretty good. Oh, the one with Chris Pine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Chris Pine. Yeah, it's Chris Pine, you know. Yeah. I know it's a Chris. I can't remember which one. It is. <laughs> um, Cumber Patch. <laughs> he's, a, he's Bene His name is Benedict. I know. It's very different to Chris. I know. What a name, though, Benedict. Benedict. It's like it means. I think it means good speech. Benedictus. Benedictus. Thanks, guys, for like putting all the random shit in. There. <sighs> Oi, Google. I'm wandering around aimlessly again. Oh, newly married man. Huh. Especially one who had seen a confirmed bachelor. That's new. 1821 from the character Benedict in Much Do About Nothing, 1599. Mm hmm. <laughs> Benedict is a masculine given name of Latin origin meaning blessed. Etymologically, it is derived from the Latin words bene, good, and dicte, speak, i.e., well spoken. The name was borne by Saint Benedict of Nursia, 480 to 547, often called the founder of Western Christian monasticism. Yeah. Benedict. Oh so. my. And, well, I mean, cover patch is pretty well spoken. Or he speaks good. He he does the words well. Yeah, he does words well. He don't he don't do them words good. Eh? He uh, speak in the English. He do the good speaking, eh? Nobody can see what you're doing. Hmm? Nobody can see what you're doing. That's fine. Just so could see what you're doing. They couldn't see what I was doing either. It's not real. Is it meant to be rotated? Yep. Because so it's coming out that way on the screen. Oh no! It's... No, I purposely did that. Okay. Is it still? Is um? Is it still forced into portrait mode? Yeah, so yeah. people will see it on portrait mode on their mobiles, but that's not a problem because they could just turn their mobile sideways. But what if they have auto rotate? There's a switch for that. Yeah, but not everyone knows where it is. Well, they're about to discover it. <laughs> that's that's come up before. Yeah. Just people, and also like it, it, it makes certain people stay longer because they go, "Oh, your your screen is sideways, by the way." <laughs> Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. You just want more screen time. Oh. Oh, perish the thought. <laughs> I've seen this trick before. So what else do you need? You do you need for your armor? Uh, knees, knees, elbows. Actually, no, I've got elbows. Um, elbows and knees. <sighs> knees aren't finished. Yeah. But so you just need to. You saw these, right? Yeah, like, yeah. You just need to strap them. Just made them, made them more bowly. Yeah, you just got to um, pad and strap them. Yeah. Cool. Um, what else? I got, I got the chest, the helmet. I do have titanium gloves. Titanium gloves. 
all the gorgons that I bought from that person. Mm -hmm. I think you were aware of that one. Probably. Gives them the razzle dazzle. I've got something in my head. <laughs> razzle dazzle them. Oh, we have a we have a comment. Do you find it difficult working sideways like that? Are the pieces all on screen to keep them from sliding off the screen? What? We were literally talking about like someone, someone, has, huh. yeah, someone's commented. Do you find it difficult working sideways? Like that? Oh, grab all the pieces, all the things on strings. So they. <laughs> well, if you turn your phone ninety degrees. Oh, we got a joker over here. Ah. We got a wise guy. <laughs> ah, wise guy, eh? We'll see about that. Private Joker. Hey, hell, I like you. You can come over and fuck my sister. The, um... What? You haven't seen that, Full Metal Jacket? Oh, uh, no, I have not. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, it's just things drill sergeants say. You can come over and fuck my sister? Yeah, it's a very, fairly famous line. Right. I haven't heard that one. Oh, okay. Well, full metal jacket. Alright. I believe it. All kinds of How tall are you? I didn't know they stacked shit that high. No? Okay. No, no. Just, just creative insults that drill sergeant say. Hmm. Sounds very like Letter Kenny. Hmm? Maybe not. You know Letter Kenny? Canadian skip chair? Guess not. It's like rural Canada. But in answer to your question, uh, it's uh, it, you get used to it. You get used to the gravity. Skip and situate sitcom situation comedy, yeah, yeah. but it's fast talking. Like it's a fast talking, straight faced sitcom. Oh, I just don't know how to bend this now. Maybe not. I guess it's a kind of like. <laughs> Instructions unclear, TV on floor. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they're watching us on a TV. I didn't know we were that popular. Yeah. It's not it's not every day like, you know, your low budget your poor production show, you know, gets on the TV. Look mom on TV! Get the camera away. Oh, you got, you got the camera. <laughs> but not enough razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle on. Oh, oh no, this is gonna get bad. I can feel it. <laughs> How's this stump coming? No, like I clean. I gave it a bit of a rub. Oh. That's why the wood is so hard. As you can see, the the acetone is right there. So uh, I did give it a a bit of a wash, but yeah, cool. it's still sticky. Mm. Still sticky with Mickey. It's a little bit of a sticky wicket. Don't I like a sticky wicket? Mm -hmm. Just okay. I found you on YouTube, so I'll be back to chat in here if I don't find any kittens or puppies. Yeah. Right. Fair well, that's what the YouTube's for, making the orientation correct again. <laughs> But it's true. Literally, it's because of Reddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Reddit. Hey, 
We funneled someone from Reddit to YouTube. Hey! hey. Conversion! <laughs> Ring the conversion bell. <laughs> we made a sale. <laughs> Ring the taco bell, boys! That's how that works, right? Like, we only just got Taco Bell in, in like, six months ago, but, like, really, who goes there? Is there, is there any other locations aside from Jasmine? Like, there's probably one in Sydney, but... There isn't I meant in I meant around here. Yeah, no. Taco Bell. Let's find out. Nope. Jesmond and Blacktown. And then the next there, there's one in Zetland. And Albion Park Rail. Hmm. So there's a few in Sydney, but Jesmond Jasmine's the only one up this way. Yeah, so like there are two in Sydney. Of all the exclusive places to be, they chose Jesmond. I guess so. <laughs> it has become like that, that that precinct has become a bit of a hub for takeaway. Oh, uni. Uni students, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> there used to be a magazine. Jasmine. Yeah. It was apparently pretty successful with the kids too. All the kids would go there after school. I wouldn't know. I went to school. In, well, I went to school in in the bay and then in Waratah. And then I just called the bus home. I didn't go anywhere with my friends after school. I just went home because I was a dweeb. Really? Oh. Yeah, man. I was a loner. I was a total loner in school. Hey man, I thought it's not it's not the image I had of you. Well, I don't you know what, what image you had, but like, <laughs> nah, nah, you pop you. I was a loser with a capital L. Oh, uh, popular dude. I'm now, but like, I learned how to be social. That happened after. Yeah, how does one do that? Well, you, you give them the old <laughs> razzle dazzle. <laughs> that's that's what we're tied up titling this podcast today. <laughs> razzle dazzle um da da da. I tell you, it's gonna get bad. <laughs> it's gonna get worse before it gets better. So what do you what are you working on, Alwyn? Jeez, don't I don't know. Like, I'm trying to, you know, make my own quarter pin, but it's very hard. Oh. Is it now? It's very hard to bend metal. Tell us what he's won, Pecker. Not very much. Uh, let me see. So, you're bending that. I'm making my own split pin. But split pin with a ring on the end to use as a hinge. And the hinge to, uh, yep. tell, tell, them, tell them what it's for. Tell them what it's for. You got the microphone. Are you sure? Wouldn't you rather talk about razzle dazzle and no, how it's affecting your life right now? Tell me what you're working on, Alan. <laughs> what are you working on? All right, we're trying to bend this metal around this rod so that uh, I can mount a uh, banner. Um. So we have an armature and a cup to make. The cup is still in paper form, which I want to finish off today too. But where are you mounting this banner? It's on the back on the back of a set. On the back set. of this armor. Yeah. That's Ooh. Right. Ooh. Ah. Why are you suddenly taking oh, interest? Is it because Chad is asking, or no? I'm just like you know setting setting the stage. So I thought I thought Chad was literally tilted at us being tilted. I'm just I'm just like like. You know, we've got twenty. We got twenty viewers. I'll be like, well, what? Really, twenty? Yeah, twenty-two. That's that's a lot. Twenty-five. That's, so I'm like, well, that's twenty more than we use. What we're doing? That's twenty. So, like they're, just, they're they're tuning in, and all we're doing is just like working on the things we're working on. But shit, sure. don't know what it is. <sighs> but uh, yeah, twenty. That's more. Th that's twenty more than we what we usually get. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Holy yeah. shit. Where is this wave coming from? I don't know, man. What are you it's guys? The razzle dazzle. 
What are you guys doing here? Go go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even seven o'clock. Uh, it is somewhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing all of these are filthy Americans. Ah, Seppos. Filthy Americans. We will show them who looks like the frog. I didn't realize how much like the term frog is used as a as a derogatory term for French people. I wonder why. Is it because they eat frogs? Yeah, no, that's... It's, that's it. That's it's because they eat frogs. And the Scots go, Ew! Eating frogs, that's gross! So they're like, give them, give them shit for it. And then it's like, aha, we will get them with the razzle-dazzle. <laughs> razzle-dazzle them. <laughs> <laughs> give them the old razzle-dazzle. <laughs> Razzle dazzle again. Razzle dazzle That's okay. I'm sure they were just past. Uh, I'm sure they were just lost, and they were trying or, to. Or maybe we converted them to YouTube. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Sure. You got the YouTube. I'm sure they were just lost looking for the uh, looking for the um, Reddit the the music channel. Yeah, there's a season or Wall Street bets. There's or Wall a season Street five of, uh, of uh, Outlander. Outlander. I'm, I'm, I, and I stumbled on it because I've just been binge, binging it again in, while whilst working on whilst working on the tabard, um, which I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out thus far. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm big, big keen on big keen on Outlander as a source of insight into historical Scottish culture. I'm waiting for new new book of nine nine. Yeah, I think they're gonna do what we're doing one more season of that, aren't they? Are they? I don't know. Yeah. That's a shame. You're getting cancelled basically. Why? Like BLM. What the what? Hmm? BLM. BLM. Yeah yeah. What? Cops are not popular at the moment. Oh okay. Yeah. Show about cops. Everyone hates cops right now. It's fashionable to hate cops. So they're not doing it. They're, they're doing not doing the razzle dazzle. They're not doing the razzle dazzle of our cops. What is this? Uh, I did find a kitten. It's right before you. Right. <laughs> right, because he went on YouTube. To he went on. He found us on YouTube and uh, found a kitten. Because, like, animals on YouTube, you know, cute animals and stuff. Yeah, that's, that's, that's on my recommended list. Mm. I'm particularly fascinated with the one where they kept a mountain cat. Mm. Like, there's this, there's this Russian couple that keeps a mountain cat. Oh, yeah. And it's, and it's fully domesticated. Is that one of those, um, like, is that that really long cat? Basically, really tall? Uh, or is it like a mountain lion? It's a mountain lion. Oh, okay. I think it's literally a mountain lion. So the top string is some crazy Melbourne guy being crazy on a skateboard. Okay. Yep, that's that's what you're looking for, not this channel. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. We're back to 24 watches. That's 24. More than what we usually have. That's not true. We usually have like at least six. <laughs> Sometimes we've broken a hundred, so I don't know what you're going on about. Stop being so pessimistic. Oh, uh, it's just... It's, it's what I'm good... It's the type of humor I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a lie, if you believe it. I think I can move this to the anvil now. I believe you can if you, if you really believe. I think I think you are capable of moving it that short distance. I know you Not know. what I meant. <laughs> I believe in you. A dangling participant. Oh, have you not seen um, College Humor Grammar Nazis? 
Oh yeah. I mean, I've seen it in, uh, lots of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's, it's based off Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. yeah. I watched you guys well. One of you way back in March or April 2020, sometime during the after times, and you entertained me for many hours. So thanks for that. Aww. I mean, Aww. it might have been both. But this is the shared space, right? I also remember someone making a knife. Was a. I don't think I ever made a knife. Was it Keanu Reeves making a knife? No. Because like March, April, twenty twenty. That's very specific. That's before. That's before I came came around, wasn't it? Possibly. Yeah. I think so. Because I don't think I came around. I think I first saw your content when I was already living around. And that was May. Oh, might have been a different person, but... Uh, oh, it's probably you. Maybe. I don't remember making a knife. Well, someone else might have been making a knife in a stream, but... He's thanking you for entertaining him. Say you're welcome. <laughs> I'm trying to plausibly give him an out. <laughs> Stop it. Take of, the compliment. Of, of making a bad mistake. Take the compliment, bitch. No, I think I think what he might be referring to is is like uh, I think NPC Keanu Reeves was um, making a knife sheath. Ah, uh, could have been it. Maybe all the RPANs, RPANs, RPANs. Ah, uh, Reddit public access network subreddit. Uh, maybe all the RPANs are blending together. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually no, they've actually reinforced more separation than before. <laughs> so I don't. <laughs> ah, yes, segregation. No, like they the put internet's best quality. <laughs> yep, that's sorry, I just uh man. I wanna get banned. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Trying to make this cotter pin. <laughs> Trying to make this cotter pin so I can pin it into the armor. But it's this metal is very tough. I mean metal usually is, isn't it? Uh, no, actually. Aluminium foil. Yeah, it's tough. It's just really thin. It's actually very brittle. The only RPAN... Lol, the only RPAN di division they need is DJs who play music and DJs who talk. <laughs> Fair enough? Sure. Fair enough? Sure. There's Isn't th that really big on, on uh, Twitch now? What? DJs. DJs. Like, when COVID hit, a lot of DJs moved to Twitch. Possibly. I think I heard about it. I haven't really kept up with it. One thing that has exploded on Twitch is um, chess. Oh, really? You can now make a living... Ah. You can now make a living playing chess. My dreams. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shall we play a game? There isn't a chess set here, is there? No, uh, we could play it online, but that wouldn't be. Neat. I don't think. I don't think it would be as entertaining. <laughs> we could play an online game in person. Yeah, and <laughs> just film the screen. <laughs> not even. Not even like screen grab. Not even. Uh, not even. Not even capture card. Just. Uh, just film it with a camera. Yeah, just with a with a twenty dollar camera. Camera. <laughs> be like Jordan Shanks. That's exactly yeah. how he films his shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's where he started, and, that, and, that, and like, he talks about that, he says, says, like, this is why I do this, to, to show, like, you can do anything with, like, limited tools, you know? And now he's earning, like, I think he's probably going full, he's probably going full figures just from that channel. Four? Yeah. Sorry. Five figures. That's what I mean. I, I would assume, like, Geordie's would be at six figures all up. Oh, all up, but from that channel, I mean. Yeah, okay. Like, if we look at Patreon, Jordan Shanks, because like, he's got a separate Patreon for the friendly Geordie Jordan Shanks and the pod. Jordan Shanks is creating a better you. How he's got did. 344 patrons. And but I don't know, it doesn't say how, many, how much he's got coming up. Uh, this could be but a very got... bad idea, but we're, we're sticking to it. He's got. Uh... The Joel Austin tier, very Christian of you to feel the need to add something to the collection plate weekly, offsetting your sins of skipping ads. 
<laughs> repent, for, <laughs> repent for skipping ads is the is the uh, um, is the perk is the tier. <laughs> Dude, that chess movie or series or whatever, the Queen's Gambit. Yeah, yeah. Queen's Gambit. Uh, like chess is chess is blown up. I uh, I started the the chess club at um, at my university, and uh, that was years ago now. But it, it went it went dormant. But uh, this year, uh, people came looking for to start back up again. So some some second year club back up again. It's going well. It's probably just writing the Netflix. Yeah, possibly, but like you know, ride that wave, man. Fucking people and riding that wave. You don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to build a model around something that will work forever. It just needs to work for the time it needs to work for. Like, don't, don't, uh, don't stake the rest of your life around selling watches to everyone in your village because everyone will, your village will eventually have a watch. You know what I'm saying? Good show though. Have you seen it? Queen's Gambit. Yeah, it's, it's more. About, it's more about substance abuse, right? Have you finished it? Yeah, yeah I finished it. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> great. I loved it. Yeah. 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 Don't she literally sleeps with everybody. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see that's something you you can relate to. It, it resonates. It resonated with me. I don't know why. And <laughs> drugs, sex, chess. It's up my alley. What can I say? Yes, it's it's just your life documented. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I'm no. I've never been. I've never been nearly that good at chess. I don't even really know much chess theory at all. But the uh, but the tranquilizing in the girls' orphanage. Yes, that was totally true. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's my childhood. <laughs> I, in fact, grew up in a girls' orphanage in the 1950s. Was it 50s, 60s, 40s? 60s, I think. I gave him the old razzle dazzle. <laughs> um, you resulted to prostitution? <laughs> okay, just so you know, when you drop into Arpan, it's crazy skater, cat, and then you armor smiths. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're like... Trending number two. Number two on Reddit. Oh, yes. Three. Oh. It was a cat. Fucking cats. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. enough razzle We can't we got compete three, with we cats. Got 12 watches. We can't compete with cats. I'm literally puncturing leather with a flathead screwdriver. Like, why is that popular? Yeah, because you're because you're the only, we're the only channel that fulfills a racial minority. I don't know. I somehow I doubt that. <laughs> oh, the cat's Belgian. <laughs> I suppose Burmese is Australian. It's fairly obscure. It is. Yeah, that means you're exotic. <laughs> 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 like a Lamborghini, but way cheaper <laughs> to ride. Way cheaper. Way cheaper to ride. <laughs> Is that because you get paid to ride? <laughs> what? Paid to ride? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> or is it because I'm paying to ride? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, a, uh, it was a slight against your person insinuating that you partake I of a partake of a particular surface, right? Yeah. Well done. Well done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so that, that was ve that was very well put together. Yes. <laughs> um, it needs its own Victorian what was explanation. The, what was the uh, um, oh, what was the what was the number from Lame Is? Huh? What was the number from Lame Is? The number. Yeah, about prostitution. The, the girls, something. Um, Look lovely down. ladies. Look down at no. your penis. No. No. <laughs> no. Wrong number. 69. That's a number. Oh, dear. Remember to stay up to date. Your version of Windows 10 will soon reach the end of service. 
Please oh, start yeah. to install a new version. I'm just going to put that away. Uh, we can deal with that another time. Yep. Might have to purchase another, another Windows. No, I don't think so. I think you just need to update it. Ah, oh. not a free update. It's just this version of Windows 10. Oh right, okay. Yeah, not Windows 10 full stop. They're still that's still the current, still the current firmware. And like updating Windows 10 was. Uh, excuse me, firmware is way lower level than an operating system. Really, I thought firmware was the operating system. It's it's it is. Kind of, the meaning's kind of conflated, but firmware is in the industry. <laughs> no, it's more like uh, it's a very specific set of instructions written for particular circuits. Way simpler uh, than a computer. Okay. Way simpler than a computer. Okay. All right. Whereas, you know, like there's only two mainstream operating systems. Right. So Three, like, if you include Linux. So, like, hardware is the stuff. Firmware is what the stuff directly does, and then software is the programs that you can tell the stuff to do. Yeah, fair, it's close enough. But an operating system is software, not firmware. Uh, they are no, they are both types of software. Um, but firmware is usually simpler, way simpler. Oh, for so simpler firmware is software. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Just way simpler than an operating system. Wrong. Okay, thank you for that. I was trying to figure out what happened on my PC and it was you. But yeah, it's... Oh, we've got more. Oh, God. We've got chats on YouTube. Oh, really? Um, That's new. Yeah, it's... Well, we got... We got uh, we got... That's that's Twitch. Two zero H two. Oh, that's Twitch. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, hardware is the brain. Firmware is the breathing. Speech is the software. Do you mean software is the speech? The... Can't just. Flip. Hardware is the brain. Firmware is the breathing. Speech is the. Where's your Where's your fancy phone on your wrist? Why are we Why are we leaning over to the computer? <laughs> no, it was like your It was like your brand. Ah. Uh... The, the Apple Watch, that is not Apple Watch. Um, and it only reads one chat. The stuff on Twitch, like people on Twitch are like... Hey, oh. Um, Renat says, Samurai Armor, is this your job? Always mm. include Linux, please. Yes. Somewhere is like an update for an operating system. It's, it's very low level. It's very close to the hardware. It's your active basal layer. Of this software. It's a little uh, geology analogy for you kids. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Okay, go on. No, go on for a little longer. <laughs> All right. Tell me why. Tell me what you want. Nothing but a, a, a Tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> now number five. <laughs> I'm never gonna hear you say I want it that way. Uh, uh, it's going to firm way, but being the maintenance stuff like breathing, heart, heartbeat, basic pain, etc. And his arm thing is a pit boy. No, it's not a pit boy. It's a phone, but it's not an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody thinks it's the new Apple Watch because they're a fan of Jobs, but you know, they just got to come into Man, terms I'm... with the reality that Steve Jobs is dead. That was his actual funeral. He, they didn't turn him into an iPad. Okay, um, he's dead. Man, I'm a fan of Jobs. Anything that stimulates the economy. Well, that he did. <laughs> Because, you know... Get it? Jobs? Ha! Yes. Because Apple has... Employment. Apple has three times the size of the economy than Australia does. <laughs> Fuck. That's how big Apple is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's Apple a... is literally bigger than Australia's entire GDP. 
we as a company still lose to Apple. Yeah. That's, all that's our, why they can tell us what to do. With all of our koalas and all of our history, no, that's nothing. Pa apparently, iPhones are more popular than koalas. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Whatever, that is, that is a pit boy. It says. Yep. All right, well, sorry for ignoring Twitch. Yes, we will include Linux. Uh, this is not my job. This is just a hobby we do. We just hang out in this factory making things. Uh, Welcome to Spark CC Makerspace, the community space on the central coast for making the... Uh, firmware is not just an update for operating systems. Firmware is... Like, like it. Not even that. It's still wrong. <laughs> uh, I think the best way I can explain is, is like, you know how um, your heart knows how to beat even though you're not consciously aware of it? Mm. All right. So that's very similar to firmware, right? It's very close to the hardware. Yeah. It keeps it running. Um, it's just programmed on a lower level, um, usually, usually through a microcontroller. Um, machine code that's what that's that's what it will be that's the form it will take when it's on the device mm. um, but when you're programming it it's still still like a, mm. a higher level but okay. yeah that's what it will exist as mm. um, I'm gonna go up dinner. So what, uh, bring down the camera, have dinner in front of everybody? Yes, yeah, this is a mukbang now. Sorry? <laughs> mukbang, it's a, it's a type of stream which, which features people eating. Yeah. Like that's, a, that's a Japanese thing, right? You're a 10 year old It's part of Japanese culture. <laughs> are, you, are you being serious right now? First of all, it's Korean. <laughs> Neither do I. Alright, well we're going to have like a bit of dinner that we brought earlier. We'll be able to still see what you're... I think I have to get... I think I have to put on hold. Making my own cotter pins is really hard. Oh. I think we found your cure to uh <laughs> to razzle dazzle. It's, it's always Backstreet Boys. Only because of Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yes. Okay, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah. What's up, folks? We're having leftovers today. Sausages on that a few days ago. Usually it's the other way around. Usually you have one sausages and two peas. <laughs> so it's a very, very uh, weak dick trick. <laughs> got some Vic bitter? No, we don't. We what? just got water. Um, <laughs> he wants us to drink VB. <laughs> Only if you pay me. That shit's nasty. He knows his brews. Doesn't like VB at all. No. I've had it, I had it like last, I've had it like a few times. I had one last year and it was, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's cheap. It can't be that bad. It was that bad. It was that bad. <laughs> uh, express the frost. Wait, scale, if you will. Uh, I'm gonna check again if I have one. Uh, I can't see the chat. You're, you're a stand up comedian. Just, just go. I'm not a stand up comedian. Talk about I sex really. Or <laughs> sex. I haven't done that in a while. 
Ah, it's, <laughs> it's funny because I'm going through a separation. What do we got? Uh, Vic Bitter. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't call it Vic Bitter. Dear, oh, dear. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, it's, it's, this is unpleasant to wear. Ugh. It's like on my wrist bone. What do we got here? Yeah, I'm going to try to channel my inner Aussie. Is it? Is it a chook dinner? Got some Vic Bitter? Vic Bitter, the Budweiser of Australia. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say VB is probably um, probably the oh wait, that way. There we go. VB is probably the Budweiser of, of Australia. Um, it's the it's the swill. Though honestly, I've had I've had Bud and I prefer it to VB. Um, yeah, like I don't know. I think VB is more. grassy and ricey and I don't mind rice like I like a nice rice malt lager I've literally have some at home at the moment that I've been drinking that I brewed um, but not a fan of the grassy beers um, unless it's in an IPA like grassy flavors from hops like uh, like Simcoe Simcoe hops in uh, the local brewery in, in Nelson Bay does an IPA called Fred and that heavily features Simcoe, which has a bit of a grassy flavor to it. That's really nice, but like not in a lager, not good in a lager. Bohemian lager. What? <laughs> okay, there's a port portmanteau bot. Bohemiaga. <laughs> Lawn cuttings fermented. That is called compost. <laughs> um, like, literally, I've got lawn cuttings fermenting at home right now because it's in my compost pile. Um, no, I would not recommend, like, I've seen how to make everything's video on making crabgrass beer. Sounds terrible. I wouldn't recommend it. There's a reason that most of the world uses barley, like uses the same grains that we eat to make beer. Just do... Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, Lord Cuttings Fermented. It's what Budweiser calls itself. Oh, Bohemian Lager. Right. Apparently they call, apparently Budweiser is called a Bohemian Lager. Yeah, so that's a style of lager. Um, I don't think, yeah, whereas... Is he still trying to convince you to drink it? No. Yeah, we, 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 we move past that. Hopefully. I'm not drinking VB unless you pay me. Um... <laughs> Not even then, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd drink a tinny of. I'd smash a tinny of VB for ten bucks. So low. Yeah, I'm poor. <laughs> and like, I can scull a VB pretty quickly, so I don't have to taste it for very long. I did find a stronger. Yeah, right. The uh, bulldog clips. So um, I'll use these parts and try my best at it. Something. But yeah, um, Bohemian Lager is a style of lager, um, whereas um, Prussian VB is just an Australian lager. It's just a different style of lager. I think, I think uh, like Bohemian lagers like uh, would be Eastern, like uh, or Northeastern in Europe. So like um, Czech Republic, Poland. Um, those kind of areas, that's all Bohemia. That's where the, the tra old traditional name for it is. So that would be where Bohemian lagers come from. Um, whereas I imagine, I imagine Australian lagers are more like the German style. That's not, that's not ready yet. 
Still an ice cube. Yeah. Don't eat, don't eat the ice cube. I wouldn't recommend it. Just, just patience, dearie. I'll have dinner ready in a jiffy. Were you, were you going for like a, like a matronly Victorian figure? Or? I guess so. <laughs> that sounded too careful. <laughs> I should do it. Um, my great, 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 great grandmother was from Bohemia. There you go. Um, probably, probably, maybe in blue. It's a great, great track, Rhapsody in Blue. I think that's uh, Brahms. Uh, or Bach, maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's a Baroque, it's a Baroque composer with whose name starts with a B. Rhapsody in Blue. Let's find out. Um, my uncle, um, who's a pianist, um, really likes Rhapsody in Blue and plays it. Rhapsody in Blue. Oh no, it's modern. George Gershwin, 1924. American. There you go. Purity laws slash guidelines as well. Okay. Abigail Melcher, purity laws slash guidelines as well for beer in Australia. Oh, okay. Um, get on the beers. <laughs> beers, beers, get on the beers. Well, considering, considering one of our state's premiers, which is basically equivalent to a governor, um, the governor that y'all have in the state. Well, I'm assuming you're from America. Um, there you go. Yes. You're welcome. It's giving me not the ice cube. <laughs> um, <laughs> considering one of our state premiers, um, like, literally, literally was encouraging people to get on the beers um, after, after, the, after the statewide lockdown for, sev for several months. Um, no, I mean, like, they they redid the lockdown, but, like, it's still, like, get on the beers. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't have very Puritan laws in Australia. Um, legal drinking age is 18, so that's nice. 21 sounds terrible. It changed in the... I think it changed around World War II, because it was 21 here as well. Uh, then um, they were like, lots of people were like, we can vote and we can be sent to war, but we can't even have a skewy at the pub. And so instead of bringing the vote, bringing the, the conscription age up, they brought the drinking age down. <laughs> so we could kill people. Yeah, well, yeah, no, you can go to war and die for your country, but you can't have a skewy at the pub. That was like the thing. A skew, skewy is a short, short for a schooner. Oh, it's a br Australian Australianization, an abbreviation for schooner. All my bros down the river with each other. <laughs> not with that attitude. I have seen Asians drink. It's, it's literally not in our generation. It's hilarious. <laughs> but what I mean is that we like people like with my genetics don't have the the protein that breaks down alcohol, so we all flush through whenever we drink it because we can't tolerate it. Yeah. So literally not in our blood or genetics. Yeah. Yep. It's good, man. Look, that's racist. Your soul, that's racist. Your <laughs> eyes, that's racist. Oh, your eyes, that's, that's gay. gay. That's homophobic. <laughs> that, that's black. That's racist. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. We need we need to do that skit a lot more smoother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I got a dinner. You know, dinnerly. It's like it's like Hello Fresh. Oh right, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. like, what pre? Like, is it is it pre-made dinners or is it's, it? Or it's is it all like... ingredients with recipe cards, basically. Oh, right. Um, delivered to your door. 
um, most of the ingredients. Um, yeah. They don't include like garlic. That is or oil. That still sounds like a. It is. It's only halfway through defrosting, and then I put it through for another minute after the defrost as well. I hear a donut shape is the most optimum way yeah, to microwave yeah. something. Yeah. Like that. A volcano. A torus, if you will. I will. <laughs> um, I was talking about. By which I mean that there's an astrological setting on the microwave. That heats up Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn, whatever you want. Okay, the crazy skater guy changed to doing slides and his viewers dropped off. So get ready for an influx of people watching you eat. Slides? Yeah. Hang on. They can't see you eating properly. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is some Korean shit. I guess it is. <laughs> if we're going to be racist like that. I find popcorn is best on Scorpio. Mmm. Um. <laughs> what was I talking and about? And if you if if it's dinner for two Pisces. What were we talking about? Astrological signs. No, before that. Um, how did we get here? Um so we, we said Taurus. Puritan and... Puritan laws like now that changed to drinking age being 18. And Asians can't drink alcohol. Asians can't drink alcohol. White men can't jump. What? That's, that's just an old thing. <laughs> that's lacist. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, Avenue Q. Like... The Asian woman in Avenue Q is always played by a white woman. Because they have all the power. No, because that's the joke. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Yeah. It just seems more racist than an Asian woman. Yeah, yeah, that's the joke. This is the this is the Scarlett Johansson and, and Ghost in a Shell argument all over again. Well, it's not different roles, it's just the same role. It's a, it's Wait, a, so it's a do you know Avenue Q? I do, yeah. but I haven't seen all of it. I just know the songs. Yeah, okay. I went. And saw I it. say, I say, I'm not into you know musicals, but that one was pretty good. Yeah, because it was crass and funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what, the, the Asian lady is played by like not the one. I think so. I've the already seen like I've seen the one online, and I've seen um, the ones I've seen like they were Asian. Um, they were. Yeah, I, okay. Yeah. I don't know. The, I mean, I saw it at Macquarie University. It might attract unwanted attention if it wasn't self-deprecating. I don't know. Like, it's cancel culture is still... Oh, it's, it's big now. I don't think they could do Avenue Q nowadays. No. I doubt it. I don't, you couldn't get away with that. It's a pity, because it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Yeah. It will, it will forever exist on YouTube. Yeah. The modern visual we have of witches, tall hat, cat, woman, cauldron, etc. was done by male-owned brewers trying to push women out of the business they dominated. The cauldron was the beer, cat, the broom was a sign used to indicate they sold goods, the cats were to mice, the grain, right, right, etc. The tall hats made them stand out at market to attract business. Right. Yeah, that sounds like a folk etymology, but I'm here for it. What's this now? How, how, like... Something about... Oh, I have one for you I learned about on Reddit. Right, okay. The modern visuals we have of witches, tall hat cat, woman, cauldron, etc. was done by male-owned brewers. Male, so male brewers, male, male-owned breweries. Just like the wedding ring is propagated by the De Beers Diamond Corporation. No, the engagement ring. Yeah, all right. And the, the myths about, like, it needs to cost... Excellent. Three months salary. Three months salary, boys. Well, no, that's profits not. are down. Better make it six. Yeah, that's the BS. Um, Everything's a lie. Hello, lads. What are your thoughts on death? Uh, a grand adventure, as as said by the words of Robin Williams playing uh, Peter Pan. It, oh, it's a great adventure. Well, now he's on that adventure. I wonder how he's doing. <laughs> well, that'd be great. Probably we get. Well. The Robin Williams materializes just to tell us how it is. On this stream, Robin oh, Williams. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. No, that's diamonds, no, not the ring. Diamonds are worthless without the debut cartel controlling the quantity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's also the engagement ring. Engagement rings are very modern. Oh, really? I like the portal interpretation, which is females always appreciate industrial application diamonds for them, for their, obviously for their drilling merit. <laughs> And they own like what, approximately ninety percent of the thoughts diamonds. on death. Um, we don't know. We know it's an end, but we don't know if it's a beginning. Mm. So, having said that, I believe it's uh, like see, without death, there is no there is no motivation. That's the surprising thing. Death yeah. is a big, big motivator to get things done. There's a lot of Feels like pretty much anything I can say about death is a cliche at this point. That's what it feels like. You know? Oh yeah. Well let's Death gives life meaning. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Um Sure, let's go through those platitudes. Death gives life meaning. What else? Don't be sad that they're gone. Be happy that they We're here. We're here. Um <laughs> Uh, you sound super sincere. <laughs> this is what you actually believe, but you're you're mocking. You're saying it in a mocking tone. <laughs> it's um. I mean, it's a book end. It's like cuts things off, but it's also in the scheme of things beyond the nuclear zone. The creation, the, the, the individualization of life. It's just part of the process. It's burning off the dead wood. Because, like, the human animal can only live so long, but the things that we that inhabit us, ideas, um, legacies, adaptations, they live on. They continue to propagate through the world like means. Yeah, it's easier to think of it like a video game. There needs to be a post-credit sequence. All good things come to an end, and <sighs> let's see. Uh, when you're in that stage of life, you just want the suffering to end, possibly. Your, your body's breaking down, you're bearing a lot more suffering than before. You mm -hmm. just want to rest and end it all. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, like death is a, a powerful motivator, because... Um, mm -hmm. When I, when I was like screwing around with with artificial intelligences, the only way you could get the art, like the AI to finish the game yeah. or an AI to finish a task is to Give is it. to is to literally punish it punish it for for existing. Wow. So like that's rough, bro. Basically that. So um, let's let's just say. Um, I need you to like navigate this cave mm -hmm. and like, well, this is, this is the quintessential AI problem. You have a grid mm. or a cave expressed as a grid. There are holes. There's a start. There's an end. It's like the pen in Wolf of Wall Street. Sell me this pen. He takes the guy's pen. Oh no, no. He says, uh, mm, don't uh, think so. No, he said like, uh, sell me this, what? Sell me this pen. And he goes, uh, can I get your autograph? I don't have a pen. Bam. Supply and uh, creating, creating, creating a bank. You know? Not in the same way. Um, so in artificial intelligence, not really. No, I'm just so rambly. <laughs> so. Um, no, I think I was trying to make a different point. It's like if you take something from someone and they need to do the thing that you need to do, they, that you want them to do to get the thing that you've taken from them. In other words, people don't see the value of something until it's lost. Yeah, deprivation. Right. But nature deprives anyway. Um, sure. Deprivation but, is a natural state. Except uh, in terms of an AI, this is literally math. Um, mm. You, if you had, like I said, if you had that cave, cave expressed as a grid, mm -hmm. um, and you want this AI to figure out the most efficient path to get from 
uh, A to B, mm. um, you would punish it. You would punish it for every unnecessary movement that it would take. Mm -hmm. And we call this the discount factor, which is basically um, when you're when you're assessing which way to go, um, you you assert you you pass it through a value function, which either tells you it will get it closer to the end, or how how far away from the end is that space. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that discount factor and instead made it like a multiplier instead of a instead of a divider, mm -hmm. um, that's equivalent of saying. Um, find me the shortest way out of this money beach, like a beach made of money. Um, and the AI, like if you have a multiplier instead of a punisher, mm. um, it would prefer, it would say, it would find more value in staying on the beach than rather than leaving it. Yeah, okay. Um, and so this is what we call the discount factor. Usually like, um, every future reward is discounted by how much time you spent Right, it's literally punishing you for existing. But humans are not robots. That's right. But what I'm saying is, death every every day closer to death is very much like a discount factor. Um, it, it it motivates you to do the things you want to do before you leave. Fomo, gotta yeah. run out of time. Gotta go. Gotta gotta go fast. Like damn it. I'm just saying, if you live forever. You could literally take all the time in the universe to do something. There's no, there's nothing punishing you for for staying or not moving. Well, what about the dopamine nurture system? Hmm. What about like rewards toward the effects? Like that's the that's the way the dopamine nurture system is built. So like when you when you move towards something that you that is a, that is something that your mind cognitively processes as a goal, you get a hit of dopamine. Right. But at the same time, like if you had infinite time, you'll eventually do everything you wanted to do, right? Supposedly. But humans are not good. I totally agree, fellow oxygen mixture consumer. <laughs> He's performing intelligently. I also am made of carbon, carbon, and water. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, who made the bowls slash forks? Um, China. Good guess. Yeah, it's me. This is a, this is Woolies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Made in China. Oh. This is not what we're making, by the way. We're just taking a break. Yeah, yeah. This one is made in stainless steel. That's a strange name for a place. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Because life is fleeting. It is. I've been listening to uh, JBP Wave. Where are you working on AI? Um, not like another hobby project that's kind of on the back burner, but I wanted an AI to dominate the Smash scene. In short, I want it like. No, I actually wanted to make an AI so I could train against it because to train myself against it. Right, because like the AIs that you can play against are shit. That's right. That's exactly yeah. the problem statement. Nintendo ships shit AI. <laughs> right? You can easily beat a level 9 by the time you finish the World of Light. Like, you can easily beat a level 9. Yeah, like, I can beat level 9. I mean, I could before we started playing competitive. Yeah. Yeah, everyone can beat a level nine CPU. Yeah. So the, that was the problem I wanted to solve. Yeah. But it how to go? It is it is very complex. But like um, there's so much issues to deal with. Yeah. Um, building that AI is the easy part, surprisingly, because companies have already figured that out and they ship it out to everyone that wants right. to use it. You can use Amazon's version, which is part of their AWS. Mm. It'll probably try to sell you something as you use it. What? Amazon <laughs> trying to sell you stuff? Yeah. Like you'll be playing, you'll be playing against the Amazon AI and it'll give you like a sell recommendation. Would you like to buy this thing? <laughs> um, That's its side session. 
Yeah. Phone, book, DVD. Purchase recommendations. Yeah. Purchase recommendations. It'll just charge your credit card and you can feel it right in the percentages. Um, yeah. yeah. Google, Google will just try to take your metadata information. Um, Microsoft uh, just hopes you don't download the Google one. So it tries to, its best to please you so you don't download the Google one. Um, yeah, so the AI, building the AI isn't, isn't the hard bit. The hard bit is getting the, the inputs and outputs for the AI to act on. So Nintendo builds really, really enclosed stuff and people have tried to hack it. Um, but generally it's really hard to, you know, plug into a Nintendo Switch and pull the numbers off it. Um, so you have to default to things like something we call like higher order inputs. No, wait. Yeah. Higher order inputs where, where you're actually, where you're, where you're pulling in sensory stuff, like things we would experience like, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, sight, yeah. sight, sound yeah. computers don't feel yet, but watch that space. <laughs> um, Whereas, like, you know, lower, lower order inputs are, like, um, someone literally translating the, the numbers for you. So how, some, how red something is expressed as a number or, or, cut, or, or like, tags. Tags is a good one. You know, when you're, whenever you're doing the, um, the recapture and it's telling and, you're, and it's asking you to locate all the cars, right, in this picture... They're not actually, it's not actually a verifying human program. You're yeah, actually you're training, training an AI to do it. Yeah. Um, so law order inputs like that. So that's what I'm trying to organize. And that's where I'm stuck because um, I want my AI to run on like a fairly light device, but, you know, processing things like video processing things like frames and then studying those frames and then, mm. Yeah, so that's that's where the trouble comes in, and then like, so that's just the inputs. The outputs is like now, and so now my AI has these things. How am I going to get that to communicate to the switch, right? And then that in itself is its own thing. So like, I have to like re-engineer like mm. the like a controller, for instance, so it can interface with it. And then that's like going really low level on the tech tree because you're you're literally studying pulses and what they mean. That's like really low analog stuff. Yeah, really low, uh, low resolution. No, no, not resolution. Like, uh, well, like, like low tech, very, very close to the hardware. Yeah. Very yeah. analog. Yeah. Well, I mean, at resolution, in a different sense. Sure. When I think re re resolution, I'm thinking like 4K, SD, HD. Yeah, yeah. but like, like uh, ideas can be at different resolutions. Like okay. You can look further out of something, further closer in. Something can be more com more complex, or it can be simplified. Yeah, you know. So, like, if you have only, if you can't see color, then you can cognitively perceive that as like less resolution because it's you've got less data okay. coming in. So, like, for in th in that case, it's like, well, you're not, you can't, your 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 um, AI can't directly perceive the hitbox the hitboxes yeah because it can't jack into the code of the yeah or like it can't it can't like pull like the damage percentage as a number off the machine it right, has, has to, to pull it off the screen it has to look at the screen mm. recognize what's a number and what isn't yeah. and then yeah. and then figure out damage values from that um and at the same time i can't i can't like just say you know, AI says side B, and then the switch understands. The AI has to go, oh, side B, translate that into a controller signal. Yeah, yeah. And the controller signal is just electricity running through switches. I mean, surely the controller is easy to emulate, though. <sighs> hard. It's actually hard. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know these things. I have, I have a way. I'm a linguist. God damn it, Jim. I'm a linguist, not a, not a computer scientist. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
And, and, then, and then when you have your PhD, you can say, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for that day. Yeah, yeah. Just, you're graduating just so you can say that line. <laughs> um, well, I have, <laughs> I have. Well, I mean, then I'll be Dr. Watson. So, mm. uh, my so dad, what? My dad's very, very pleased that I'm interested in going there. And mostly because my grandfather really wanted my dad to become a doctor. Doctor. So Watson. you're just. You're, you're fulfilling the dream of your granddad then? I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing it because I want to do it. No, it's very... In academia. My sister is totally different. The year 2050, all human life has been wiped from existence. Smash trainer bot VB2 is the, <laughs> is the supreme ruler on Earth. The crows bring its shiny objects in exchange for feeding data. <laughs> what language slash code is it in, your, your AI? It's going to be in C Sharp. Yeah. Um... But I might have to change that depending on which technology stack that I find. Mm, yeah, forest as opposed to the individual tree of sorts. So yeah, resolution, forest trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, resolution. Yeah, yeah. But in answer to what will work, um, I'm thinking I want to do it in C sharp, but I think the technology stack that works is C because mm. uh, I've seen many indie projects that I want to kind of like integrate together, mm -hmm. but they're all written in like C, C++. So it doesn't really matter, but I'm thinking C++ at this point. You know, man, just give them the old razzle dazzle. AIs don't do that. Razzle dazzle. Someday when I can do it full time, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But um, you know, Yeah, so that's that's what I want to do with AI. Um, like the problem is, is like there's a very small pool of players uh, in this small town, mm. and every time I go to Sydney, I'm just I'm largely unprepared because it's not enough people. I'm like I'm really good at like one or two characters, but then just get wiped out because there are many more people in Sydney that play other characters. Is going to be page up and going? Yeah, yeah. I think like this problem statement was created when I was back playing Project M and there's no audience for that here. But now that I've moved on to Ultimate, there's probably a bigger one. Yeah. But um but at the same time, like I used to be really competitive about this game, but now I'm not. So how like the problem it, is older than How big is it as an as an esport? Fairly big. Like what what's the biggest tournament pop? <sighs> Oh, I don't know. Hey, Google. I just want to be able to just yell at Google. Does your thing not work? Uh, hey, Google. Hey, Google. I would say six figures. What's the biggest pot for a Super Smash Brothers tournament? Not tournament. Big. Some information for what is the biggest Smash tournament? No, biggest According pot. To Smash Week What's the prize pot for the largest Super Smash Brothers tournament? Biggest prize pool in Smash. Here's information from Esports Earnings. Oh, 83,000. Yeah. Smash Summit 5 singles. 83,000. Smash Summit 9, 68,251. Yeah, right. Yeah, so like there'd probably be, there'd probably be some decent money in, in developing a training, in developing training systems. I just want to do it for me. But... Oh, I know, I know, but then also you can ship it. I could. And make money. And then again, I could end humanity. <laughs> you know, I know, I, I have confidence in your ability to be not damaged. Ooh! It's the chat going. Ooh! I don't... It takes a little, like, ending humanity is a lot of work, man. That's, that sounds really difficult. All we got to do is keep driving our cars. Yeah, but then it's not you ending it. It's just humanity ending it. We could re-elect Scott Morrison. What, what is IIRC? I don't know that abbreviation. If I recall correctly. Uh, if I recall correctly. Get with the times, damn it! God damn it, Jim. I'm a linguist, not a... Linguist? <laughs> Uh, if I recall correctly, the bot for Clash of Clans is in C-sharp. Mm -hmm. uh. 
Uh, C sharp is a very popular language because it's very performance based. It's yeah. it's high enough level to it's a nice balance between readability and mm. and how close it is to the hardware. Yeah. yeah. It's back. It's back. Uh -huh. You are on fire. Oh <laughs> Desire. But one is that way. Uh, one is that way. Tell me why. Uh, I only know which Backstreet Boy is gay. That's I only know the parody version. Which Backstreet Boy is gay? Oh, Tell me why. <laughs> He's picking up a souffle. Which Backstreet Boy is gay? He's right there on Ellen. He's wim who's wearing women's clothes. Which backstreet boy is gay? Ain't saying that it's Kevin. Ain't saying that it's Howie. Ain't saying that it's Brian. Which Backstreet Boy is gay? Are there only four of them? Ah, uh, Brian. I, I don't remember all of them. That's Brian, Brian, Howie. Uh, Justin Timberlake was in Sing. Yeah. Wasn't he in the Backstreet back Boys? No, I, I believe it was NSYNC. Oh, okay. There were two competing boy bands at the time. Well, I thought I thought they were they had an overlap. I thought there were members of Backstreet Boys that were also NSYNC. I don't think so. They just sound the same. Okay. They sound the same. They're not actually the same. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe they're the same. <laughs> Maybe they're a virtual band. Hey, Google. Maybe Are Backstreet Boys and Insync the same people? <laughs> God damn. Alright. Back upstairs? Yep. Go. Let's kick it. Ah uh, no. Oh. Um we could just dry these and put them in the bag, I think. Okay. Yeah, so. And uh just make sure we don't forget them. I yeah. Sure. We won't forget them. Famous last words. Enhance your free video conference version. What? Looks like spam. The robots are invading, and I didn't even program them. Finish programming them yet. <laughs> uh, do it, that one. Well, I'll just clean it home. No, I meant the I meant the spoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess. So. I guess so. I the, guess. They don't belong to you, at, or anything. Oh, well, I was saying the containers. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'd say I'd, I'll just throw them out and buy some more. Like... That's how you treat my things. Not the spoon. I'm talking about my containers. <laughs> I know. Ah, oh, treat your things. What are you going to do me like that, man? You just throw it on the ground. My dad's not a phone. <laughs> I'm not part of your system. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> oh man, Lonely Island.
Okay. Whoa, camera. Not part of your system, man. Yo, that guy looks like cinema summary YouTuber. I don't know what he's on about. Cinema summary YouTuber. I mean, I gave a summary of, of the plot of Les Mis earlier this afternoon. That wasn't online. Or was it? I mean, it wasn't, but, like, I've done some cinema summary. If that's what you mean. Tell us about your project, Alan. I am trying to mount this banner hinge onto the back. This is what we call a sashimono mount. Basically, there's an why armature that... Why is this set up the cut angles instead of the pitch? Uh, it, it, um, it, the, the, the bolt ah, is loose, so right. you just give it a I see. twist. Something feels wrong. Oh. Beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah. Okay. That's why. Just... Yeah. I don't know which one of us he means by that guy. Well, I don't know if he's still here, so does it really matter? No, I don't know. Because it was on Twitch, not on, not on Reddit, so we didn't see. Yeah, that's true. We're not, we're not attending to our Twitch. Well, they don't attend to us. <laughs> that's a big reason why. Who does attend to us, though? <laughs> our mothers, our mother lovers. <laughs> What do you think? Here? Like how far our up should be? Here or there? Mm. How much of a different difference does it make? Well you see, because it's jutting out more, if I have it super low, it's gonna like jut out that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because the cup's gonna be here. Yeah. If I have it further up, the more upright it will yeah, be. Yeah, probably further up then. Yeah, probably okay. like the small of your back. That makes sense. You don't want it, you don't want it to be too high. But the small of your back's probably a good place to put it. Where your shoulder blade would be. You really think like here? Yeah, I, I think, think here. I think really good. But you could, Nick, you could understand me. <laughs> could I? Maybe, maybe further up is better. So I want it around there. Cause, uh, <laughs> you never want to hear me say. What? No, because I want it that way. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Cause... You're nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Because uh, you're nothing but a heartache. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Right. Do you know how many movies Elvis made? A lot? Yeah, apparently. I didn't know this. He was the John Travolta slash Hugh Jackman of the day. Well, he made movies to go with all his songs. Really? Well, I mean, he made, mu he, made like, he made movies and made songs with them. So, oh, like, so like Will Smith. <laughs> like literally Will Smith. I guess. He was the Will Smith of that age. Why Will Smith? Because every time Will Smith makes a movie, he does the cover for the movie. 
Oh yeah, I mean, doing a cover for the for the main theme of the song is like Wild Wild West, for instance. M I B. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Um. Uh, Bad Boys. Okay. But still. No, like Elvis did whole movies where he fe- was where he featured as the main character. Will Smith. That were made to showcase his music. Oh, okay. Then not Will Smith. I, I think so. What it looks like. I, I, I watched Clam Bay. Because it's not really a Will Smith of uh, 8 Mile or anything. Will Smith <laughs> Will Smith in 8 Mile. Like a clean rap. Uh, I think he just landed a TV show. Like, uh, I think he was always, um, I don't know, actually. I don't know. This is the story all about her. Is it, Nick? Is it? I left a flip turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute just sit right there and tell you how about you became the prince of a town called Billy. <laughs> 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 Hey Nick, say what you want, but apparently Backstreet Boys is the way we cure we cure you of Chicago. <laughs> apparently it is. As much as you hate to admit it. Look man, that's uh that is uh, an immutable social truth that Backstreet Boys is the cure to Chicago. Ain't nothing but a butt cake. Ain't nothing but a fruit cake. Never want to hear you say. Welcome back to Hitting Things with Hammers. Yes, he has a hammer, I have a hammer. We're secretly communist. We just need the sickle. (laughs) <laughs> Goddamn dirty commies. I'm from China, he's from Russia. Yeah. Just, just communist communism on communism. Huh? Nicholas or Nikolai? Nicholas like Nikolaus. Like Greece. Nikolai like Nikolai Petrovsky. Uh, is there a Russian form of Walter? I don't That's where Watson comes from. What's a, what is a shortening of Walter? I'm sure if we put a ski on the end, it'll be hot or pass. Well, no, ski means uh, ski is a, a patronym. So Petrovsky is son of Petrov. Oh. Yeah. So Vragnarsky? No. Not my dad. No, I meant like, you know, Ragnar's son and Ragnarsky. Oh, right, sure. Russian form of Walter. No. Went down to 13. Woo! The predictions were wrong. Doesn't look like there is a Russian version of Walter. Well, Vladimir is apparently the kind of the equivalent of Volta. <laughs> Vladimir. Vladimir. <laughs> Nikolai Vladimir. <laughs> I mean, my dad's name's Greg, so Gregor. Привет, я Nikolai Gregor. <laughs> Ready to begin another episode of FPS Russia. What happened? Apparently he got arrested and now he's on bail, so... Ah. Um, so, like, he stopped, he stopped making... 
Uh, he's actually back on YouTube, but I was surprised. I was surprised, like he's not actually Russian. He's an American. Yeah, yeah, I knew that much. <sighs> the yeah, lies. They arrest him for Soviet tendencies. No, they arrested him because he had like copious amounts of hashish oil. Oh, really? Yeah. It wasn't all the weapons. Ah, oh, that's right. It's no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's filming in Texas, so. <laughs> So, uh, well, if you were going to get away with that many, many weapons, it was gonna may, may as well be in Texas. May, but, may uh, as well be in Texas. But uh, the thing is, like, he he wasn't he was sort of arrested for weapons because, like, uh, he had a lot of um, marijuana oil, and um, and and like one of the one of the laws is basically like you cannot operate you know firearms with what whilst intoxicated. And he operated tanks. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he operated them high. So, so they raided him and... Huh? I said, I don't know if he operated them high. I hope not. Well, even if he did, I think he still shows a, a lot of self-control. Anyway, he had a lot of hashish oil on his property. Um, and I think... Just a, just a contributor to the local economy, man. Um, <laughs> and I think, like, I think also, like, the reason why that happened was because Is attention. Frozen? No, look at your, look at your phone. I don't think so. Oh right. Yeah. It's like we're frozen. No, oh. I, I think that's that that does that sometimes. If I reload it, we'll be fine. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, we're also streaming to the wrong Reddit. Oh, which Reddit? <laughs> we're streaming to Short Circuit, not the Artist Studio. What's Short Circuit? Short Circuit is for like IoT and and uh, IoT? Internet of Things. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, it's it's like uh, it's like so in, indie software dev. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not at all what we're doing. It's like the opposite. <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> We're making historical armor. It's true. Yeah. Does that sound effect come from somewhere? I think it's one of them, my phone notification. Yeah, yeah. This is just default to your phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I've not heard it from any anyone else of any. I was wondering if it was a, a reference to something. No. I don't know what I'd refer to. Sorry? I don't know what reference I would program on this phone. Oh, no. Could be like Kane and just do Navi from Zelda. Is he actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Huh. It's hey. I think it's hey, listen. So Kane, being irritating. <laughs> how, how is that irritating? The joke. Oh, I thought you meant like the the, the Zelda references. Is that really no, irritating? No, the reference isn't the irritating thing. The irritating thing is every time his phone goes off, it goes it loudly goes, "Hey, listen!" Like there's a reason that that being irritating is a meme. <laughs> Used to be my bread and butter. Yeah. yeah. Zelda I was a big Zelda fan. I went so the quintessential hero story. Well, I started with Pokemon and then I moved on to moved on to Zelda. It's kind of my my thing. Pokemon was inspired by bug catching. I know. It's so cute. <laughs> uh, I think Zelda was just inspired by the need to explore places. Like, okay. I think the maker like expressed like he. So he owned Miyazaki. <laughs> Miyazaki is is like the head of Studio Ghibli, isn't it? 
That's racist. Fuck out an R. Yeah, it is. That's, that's Studio Ghibli. That's Studio Ghibli. <laughs> um, <laughs> who's the main Zelda dude? Who's the make of Zelda? Uh, I don't know. Um, Sakurai, Sakurai is Smash. Miyamoto, that's right. Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto, I knew that. I just forgot it. All. Shigeru, oh, he's also like the, yeah, he's also, Mar yeah, this, he, he's, he also made Mario. Yeah, he's like, Nint Nintendo boss. Nintendo used to be an electrical engineering company. Mm. Back in the day. Mm hmm They sold gadgets. And then they sold gadgets that were games, and then they just sold games. Yep. Unlike Konami, who's now just, you know, a gambling casino. Really? Yeah, that's what they do now. So, you know, we will never see another Metal Gear Solid. Um, oh, wow. We will only see a Metal Gear Solid thing gambling machine. Really? Yeah. They don't make Metal Gear Solid anymore. Oh, you, you haven't heard? Okay, no. so, ass. Oh, man, no, you, you bring the linguistics, I can bring the video game news. Oh, yeah, I haven't played. All right, so sometimes... I haven't actually played any Metal Gear Solid. It's, uh... So, like, uh, in the 90s, mm. um, uh, shooters were very popular. Yes, as, news. The 90s. <laughs> shooters were very popular, um, and... And, uh... What? Ko Kojima, yes. Mm -hmm. So Kojima was tasked by... I think the first Metal Gears were on Nintendo. And that's why... That's one of the reasons why Snake is in Smash. Yes. Yeah. He a, he's, a, he's actually a Nintendo character. Yeah. Um, so, uh, he was tasked to build an FP... Like a, a shooter. So mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about like top-down shooters. But... Um, uh, Kojima was like, oh, that's kind of boring because we have like a lot of those nowadays, a lot of shooters. So yeah. what he did was like, what well, instead, why don't we make the focus sneaking around instead of being like guns blazing all the yeah, time? Cool. And he came up with the idea for Metal Gear Solid for that. Mm. He, Kojima is also heavily influenced by movies. Um, so, so this was also in the time where, you know, we had... Kurt Russell doing uh, Snake from uh, Escape from LA and Escape from Escape from Los Angeles and Escape from New York. It's like they'd be great action movies. Oh, Kurt okay. Russell, but you know who Kurt Russell is. The name rings a bell. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I... All right. So uh, oh, he's a he's a he's an old he's an old action hero. Oh, was he? Um... Was he uh, 007 at one point? No, I don't no, think so. No. I but I know this. He plays. Um, he plays the planet. In, uh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Kurt Russell. Yeah. He Guys is. Going too. He's he's Snake. He really? is. He's Snake. Huh. Like he's the original inspiration for Snake. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, if you watch uh, Escape from L.A. and Escape from New York. Um, it's it's uh it's set in a not too distant um America and uh it just has crazy like American like plot like American soldiery plot lines. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yes, Kurt Russell is the major inspiration for Snake. I was thinking of Sean Connery. <laughs> yeah. Sean Connery in my head. Uh, you really, really want to push, you know, Scottish, <laughs> Scottish media. <laughs> oh, is that, is that Mike Myers? You know, Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> what is this American shit? Oh, I remember. He said, ooh, donkey, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, so yes, old action. Yes, the movie. most popular, the most popular Scottish character in all of TV was played, was voiced by an American. Would that be fair to say that, that Shrek is probably the most, the most, well, most, most, most well-known Scottish character? Fat, well, Fat Bastard isn't that No, he's not as well-known as Shrek, though. Um, I can't think of any other Scottish sort of, like, characters. 
Exactly. <laughs> More Scottish representation. Exactly. Oh, hey. We've been kicking about about for a guy a long time, and now we want more representation in film and television. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> you may take away our lines, but you'll never take away our television. Uh, big Trouble in Little China. I haven't seen Big Trouble in Little China. Is that a racist statement on our stream? No, I assume that's Kurt Russell. That sounds like escape. That sounds like a very similar title to Escape from LA. So es escape from LA is a very dystopian society uh, yeah, okay. thing. So it's hard to. Um, let's see. Most well known Scottish characters. In film. Scotty from Star Trek. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's literally well, called not, Scotty? I take it all back. It's Groundskeeper Willie. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Though I know him far less because I haven't watched him so much. Much. Oh, uh, you're not missing out on much. It's Groundskeepers Willie. Cole, favorite Scottish character from IMDb. Liam Neeson in Rob Roy. Oh, Liam Neeson's great, but he's Irish, isn't he? Yeah, but the character's Scottish. Rob Roy McGregor. William Wallace, Mel Gibson in Braveheart. Jamie Fraser in Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen in... Oh, and in Outlander. Right, right, right. Minerva McGonagall from Harry Potter. That's true. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Fiona McTarry from Casino Royale. I have not seen. Uh, Eric Little in Chariots of Fire. Reginald Johnston in The Last Emperor. Dr. Nicholas Garrigan from The Last King of Scotland. Maybe I think I've seen that. James McAvoy. I do like James McAvoy. Um, Amy Pond. Amy Pond would be up there. As a well-known Scottish character. Hmm. I mean, Macbeth, I guess. You mean the one starring Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh, Macbeth. <laughs> you killed my father. Big mistake. Um, <laughs> I suppose... Yeah, I suppose, like, there's Merida in Brave. Merida. Oh, yeah, sure. Merida. Um... I feel like Shrek's probably more well known than Merida, but then I am a product of my time, so I don't know because Merida. Mm. Merida is. I wouldn't call. Would would you really people. class Shrek as Scottish though? Because yes, the character is Scottish. Only well, the Scottish accent, but in yeah. that in that universe, Scotland might not exist, right? Um, Scotland may not exist. Rest in peace, uh, Sean Connery. Is he dead? He is dead. Oh. Yeah, right, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> what, Russell, were you yeah. waiting on his next movie? <laughs> <laughs> um, he was in... He was in... Um, was he in Kingsman? At all? What, Sean Connery? No. Some other old white dude. That was... Uh, Michael Caine was in Kingsman. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably him. Billy Connolly. Anything he does. Billy Connolly. Oh, he's a Scottish comedian. Billy Connolly. Actor. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good old Billy Connolly. Good fun. Good fun. That's right. What have I seen him in? Is he, is he Scottish or is he Irish? He's definitely Scottish. He is Scottish. I think the stuff I've seen him in... Tried and true Scottish. Oh, yeah, he plays the dad in Brave, doesn't he? Uh, sure. And he plays the uncle in un Serious Unfortunate Events. He was also he was also a... Uh, what is it? Spokes he was a spokesperson for ING back in the day. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like he did the ING. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. Just like Jerry Seinfeld did the greater. 
sure I'm glad that I remember it. But I no, that was quite recent. I was like before I was an adult. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And that's what a cotter pin does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See. That, that looks all right. Not bad for a paper clip. It's a bulldog clip. It's a it's a clip it's that a holds. Bulldog. It it doesn't hold bulldogs. It holds paper. Hold <laughs> a paper. Not hold a paper clip. Ah! I'm saying what it functionally is. Clips, paper clips from now on. Hair clip? No, that's a paper clip. I can hold paper. <laughs> okay, I'd like to see you hold a bulldog with this. <laughs> it's not because it holds bulldogs, it's because it looks like a bulldog. I don't see it. Big floppy ears. Ah. Oh, they they really bring. Uh, no. no, it's not bulldogs. Maybe it's maybe, maybe it's because the... they do that. It's that. It's oh, that. Yeah. so it has a mouth, does it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so if it has I a mouth, I don't know why it's called. I don't know. I don't know why though. But it holds paper. Gerald Butler. Who's Gerald Butler? Uh, whoever the Butler trio was singing about. I don't think so. Da 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 da. Gerald Butler. Butler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gerald Butler. Uh, I... Mostly does American stuff, though, doesn't he? I don't remember what I've seen him in. Olympus has fallen. Oh, yeah. London has fallen. Yep, yep. Okay, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. Yep. 300. 300? Yeah. Who was he? Really? He was Leonidas? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I didn't recognize him without the massive yeah, beard. Yeah, he played Leonidas. Didn't recognize him without the beard. Mm. Just like the actor for Aragorn. He looks so weird without a beard. Yeah, he really does. Have you seen um, Captain Fantastic? No. Um, that was, I think that's Viggo Mortensen's most recent work. But it's really good. Plays a, um... an American spy. No. Oh, the opposite, really. Plays a damn a filthy commie who lives in the woods. Um, with his with his family. Um, and basically his wife dies. Okay. And it just follows and like the, the chill his his five children have only ever lived out in the woods. And like they they're very sophisticated, like they're um, they're far more well versed on. They're far, they're far better educated than any anyone in the public public education system. Um, and they speak multiple languages and all that shit. So he's training them to be sleeper agents. Oh, uh, like he's training them for for something for like you know, uh, for a revolution or something. Um, but his wife dies, and so it follows them. Follows them coming to terms with that, and, and how they have to deal with that, and how um to engage with her family because she was the daughter of she was like I think she was the heiress of some sort of rich company family thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's a good movie. It's very wholesome. <sighs> And they have Noam Chomsky Day. The family celebrate Noam Chomsky's birthday as no as Noam Chomsky Day. It's very it's very cool. Only just just because of that. Well, I mean, like, no, not just because of that. But also, the linguist inside you sees. Well, they don't celebrate him because he's a linguist. They celebrate him because he's um because he's a, a political. Is a really is a very left leaning political commentator. He's really, yeah, he's like big on the because we don't live in a democracy, we live in a guide. Well, you've heard, you've heard of, you've heard of Chomsky stuff. Have uh, I just don't literally recall. like several times during the show. Which part was it again? He talks like this. 
Whenever, whenever Jordan talks about like this, he's talking about the name Chomsky. Was that a part about like guided democracy and, yeah. and like the propaganda model? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it's like the the fathers the, of journalism. The guy, no, not that, no, those guys. Um, they all he, looked old. They were like the twenties here. Chomsky was big in the sixties. Well, he's still the big sixties, seventies. Oh, 80s. is he the one that like? Is he the one that fucks the BBC reporter? Was that someone else? Yes, yes, that was him. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it's like you. <laughs> I do believe that you fully believe believe that, but I think that you're so indoctrinated that you're so indoctrinated that um, you don't have to you don't have to think differently from the system, and that's why you're sitting in a chair. Yeah, yeah, that that was Chomsky. But I'm not self centering. Sorry. But I'm not self censoring. <laughs> yeah, I'm not self censoring. Well, not really. Not so, so. What's the average turnaround time for a typical armor set? <laughs> More than three years. What do they sell for typically? More than three years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Alan's just been building his armor for three years. Yeah, you, well, you got to do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, th- let's, let's be clear. Um... I am not an armorer, and armorers do not make much these days. Usually, they're just replicas that come out of China, and they're very poor. In fact, the, this is one of their pieces that I'm trying to fix up. Um, I just do this for fun because I need this armor for me and for training. I'm not selling it. Not for sale. Here we are. Oh, that's long. BBC interview we get school. That's, that's 29 minutes. <clears throat> More time than we have. 30 minutes. I just want the clip. Where's oh, the clip? BBC Fox. Uh, no Fox Chom- BBC Reporter, is that what you're... Noam Chomsky, Fox <laughs> BBC Reporter. Isn't that what the title of the video was? Yes. Unless Jordan changed it for effect. Maybe. Here we are. Noam Chomsky stumps Andrew Ma. Here we go. A censoring organization. Um, tell me how that works. Is it, is it not suggesting that um, proprietors phone one another up or that many journalists get their copies fight, as we say? Exactly. Orwell, Mary Cole has an essay called Literary Censorship which was supposed to be in which he points out, look,
proceeding a pre uh, profession, adversarial, and up against power, a very self serving view. Uh, on the other hand, in my opinion, I hate to make a value judgment, but the better journalists, and in fact, the ones who are often regarded as the best journalists, have quite a different picture, and I think a very realistic one. How, how, can, you, how can you know that I'm self censored? How can you know that I'm self censoring? I'm sure you believe everything I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, if you believe something different, you wouldn't be sitting where you're sitting. Yeah, that's really, yeah, and that's when the video ends. <laughs> we don't know what happened to him. Yeah, he looked like that's the that's the facial expression at the end of it. He's about to say something. So yeah. Anyway, we don't know what happened to him. Yeah, he's he disappeared. How do you want to how do you want to fasten this? Uh the buckle across the front? Yeah, but yeah, whichever's easiest. Mm. Buckle? Yeah. I don't know if I have buckles. Did you say you needed to get buckles for something? I don't think I did. For like the knees? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll order some in. Yeah, cool. If you want to order some of this way. I mean, we missed the event this was intended for, which was Sunday. But oh, no, like, we weren't gonna we weren't we weren't gonna hit Sunday. Oh, uh, I yeah, no, I don't think that's gonna happen on Sunday. Okay. Is it? I'm sure, like people are dying to see this on. I think a lot of people have just forgotten. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like it's when, you, when you were working on it. Not many people knew about it. Yeah. Like, you weren't vocal about it and stuff. Well, I mean, you weren't coming along to things and talking about it or anything. So I don't think many people know that you've been working on it. See that part about what you said about being productive and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and just just being productive and signaling being productive. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just responding to your statement about it. Yeah. People dying to see the other. Yeah. I said it in sarcasm, but yes. <laughs> Because we all know how much people are dying to see this armor. That's when you get back, you get onto the field, finally. Yeah, it's Get been... on that list field, boy. I really do. <coughs> I want to fight with the rest of them. Yep. You'll need 10 tokens. Daddy, why can't I play with the big boys? Well, son. What are you going to do for your tokens? What do you mean? The Tokyo token token tournament? You haven't been, you haven't been to Tokyo for these, have you? Don't think so. What material is it? Steel, naturally. Steel in Australia is cheaper than leather. Yeah, oh shit. Steel is cheaper everywhere than leather. Well, probably not everywhere, but it's a lot. It's, uh, it's probably expensive on the moon. So would leather be. <laughs> um, but leather has to grow. You just melt steel. It's a lot easier to industrialize. Uh, yeah. You know, slaughterhouse, a butcher. It needs to grow. A farm. Like, steel doesn't need to grow. You just need to put it together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just need to extract those things. And you, can speed, you can speed those processes up. You can't speed up... You can't really, um, meaningfully speed up the process of growing leather. Oh, sure you can. It ta it'll take nine women to deliver a baby in one month, right? <laughs> oh, dear. That's a management problem. Yeah. See if we could if we could make artificial leather, that'd be cheap. I'm pretty sure we do with like rubbers and things. Yeah, we got like pleather, fake leather, like vinyl. Pleather. Yeah, leather. Pleather. For Pass plastic leather. Leather for your pleasure. I mean, you'd be surprised how much it made out of pleather. Um. Steel mill? Question mark. 
O M G lol. What? Oh. No, just, just you know, us, us like going on our tangents. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like the other one better. Okay, I'm gonna rip it out. All right, here we go. Razzle dazzle. Everybody, yeah. Give them the old hocus pocus. Rock yeah, your you so body you know, right. That's the only thing you need to get now is buckles. And whatever padding material you need. Just get the old buckle. Yeah. Um, and then you're just about done. Aren't you? you got elbows. I do. You got a helm. Is your helm padded? Uh huh. Is your helm padded? Do you have? Padding? Yes. It came with padding. What about your elbows? My elbows. Uh. My my the knees that are modified. Yeah. Were not able to be used as knees anymore, but they'd yeah, yeah. be able to use as. Nope. <sighs> yep. Uh, no. I'm saving up to get like another gi. Like uh, one, one. Further and further into the handle. <laughs> All right, just chip it out. Uh, depending on, depends on the manufacturer, but, uh, I believe you could get cheap, um, cheap replicas for a thousand, roughly, US. Replicas? Yeah, of, uh, of this oh, arm. Yeah. Um, there are better made ones, and it just goes up from there. Yeah, no, it's too recessed now, I need a different tool. Look at that, it's just exploded out. <laughs> Your idea. What, as in gone inside? Yeah, and also this is flattened out as well. Oh. See how it's just exploded out. <laughs> but I got that far, I'm up to here. Got so that's a fuse that. that happens inside. Hmm? That's a fuse inside. It's going into the fuse. Why is there a fuse? I think it's used to check if... Uh... Oh! Oh, okay, so I've just fucked it. It's all right. It's a, it's a cheap, it's a cheap screwdriver. Okay. Use the uh, use the grinder to grind it off and then keep going. All right. Yeah, this is one of the things that this place has that Rollins, Rollins uh, Warehouse doesn't have. Me? A bench <laughs> No, he has the sander, doesn't he? Yeah, but that only works. It's only good for wood. Or as the Scottish would say, wood! It's left to right, isn't it? Huh? The grid, it's left to right. Like, that one's, that one's, uh, that one's fine, yeah? I have no idea. The easy way to tell is to turn it off, run your finger over it. Yeah. But that one's super fine. This one? That one. Oh, that one. You know, just give it the razzle-dazzle, you know?
All right. Now it's sharp. Oh, yeah? Yep. Hey. It's a thing. Nice. Show the camera. Yeah. This thing. I wonder if I should reinforce it a little more. But... What else do you guys make in the shop? A lot of things. Uh, made an infinity mirror. Razzle dazzle. <laughs> we razzle dazzle. Man, that's that's an earworm that has traveled <laughs> all the way. Tune in next week for a different earworm. But actually, I won't be here next week. So do you need to get it out of your system? Do we need to do a mini burlesque dance right here? <laughs> Vote now on your phone. Should we do a burlesque dance? I'll get the garter belt. <laughs> God dang it. Is it gone again? Yeah. How rude. Uh, hmm. I do this. What if we, what if we extract them? Oh. Whoa! What yeah, if we ex look, at, look in there? That's absolutely fucked now. <laughs> I just gotta, just gotta break it enough so that it's forced in. Hold on. I think we can extract the pin. Um. Not why is that? Huh? I might as well just keep going with it and break off the. No, I mean like we could extract the uh, the pin. Like, as in, extract the, the metal bit that's useful to you. Yeah, okay. So, like, I'm pretty sure this thing opens up. Yeah, it does. And this is where you're supposed to put in the fuse. <laughs> it's a small diode fuse. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Richard Hammond's boat and grand tour razzle dazzle. <laughs> that's, that's a fuse. That is now... You know, there. Um, okay, so now with that open, you could possibly put in a vice and just hammer the pin out. Yeah. Okay, and that's glass all over the table now. <laughs> that's a razzle dazzle. Just a. There's possibly another fuse in there, so uh, it looked like there was another one. Yeah, you, what? You made a hole in the... Yeah, sorry. That's okay. It's my hammer. Yeah, that's why I'm sorry. I'm just destroying it at this point. That's, that's fine, as long as you get the pin, right? <laughs> Dude, is it out now? There we go. Now, now grip that. Fucking grip that hell. part. Yeah. Excuse me. Let me just dest absolutely destroy this screwdriver. I think it was uh, like a, a live wire tester, but it's gone now. Now it's a dead wire tester. Uh, no, now it's a new punch. It's a new punch. What do you mean? It's not like we have. Uh... <laughs> it's not like we have photographic footage of us systematically destroying this. It's not recorded. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Improvised tool of sorts. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of that going on around here. Have you met me? I'm an improvised tool. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought you were Burmese. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm just trying to roll with what you're giving me. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know not anymore what it is to know. So the question is, do I keep on reinforcing this with more pins? Do I even need to? I don't think I need to. This, I think this will hold. 
I really do. Okay. So the thing about it now is it delivers through with so much force that it's there's no handle. Pull it out. Um, how do we solve this problem? Tune almost, in next I'm time. Almost done. Okay. Almost done. And next time, we'll have it all. <laughs> You underestimate my power. No, nope, I'll bring my all next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's our show, folks. Thanks for coming. <laughs> your, your secret is safe. Thanks, Yank. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. You can tell because he's from America. Are these trustworthy? <laughs> Don't they regularly shoot up schools over there? <laughs> no offense. That's a like, that's, that's a thing that happens. It's a fun school event. <laughs> it's the uh, I don't think I'm comfortable with that description. It's <laughs> it's the spontaneous hundred meter dash. <laughs> It's spontaneous 100 games. It's a 100 meter dash because that's as far as they'll get. <laughs> Gotta give the kids the old razzle dazzle somehow. You are not bringing that back. Lackluster name, no offense taken at all, and no, there isn't more guns than beating hearts in the house either. Sarcasm. <laughs> I mean, there aren't more guns than beating hearts. Than Home outside. is where you hang your rifle. But also, like, I don't think I could afford to have, like, the licensing for guns in Australia is expensive. Is it? I don't know. I, think. I don't know. I've never, tr I've never, I've never looked into it. Really. Uh, I would be interested in doing it for hunting, like getting a rifle. No, oh, no, go. No, keep on with the medieval theme. You know, bows. No. Why not? Because that requires a lot of fine-tuned skills. And, like, I'd prefer to kill the animal more humanely. Yeah, but... Arrows are messy. Bullets, real easy to shoot something and kill it cleanly. Just gotta get good with the bow. Uh... Archery is sweet. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm 100%. I'm all for archery, but, like... I don't want to try and kill things with a bow and arrow. I would much prefer to just shoot it in the heart. <laughs> Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. Shot through the heart, a bad name. But yeah, kangaroo. Good stuff. Uh, I've never, ha I have, haven't had good kangaroo experiences, but okay. no, I just go okay, kangabangers. Oh, the sausages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did what with a kangaroo? <laughs> oh, you know, it's like the New Zealand thing with sheep, but you know the Australian version. <laughs> we have parties, parties, Thai festivals. <laughs> Devoted to Kanga Bangers. <laughs> you, um, thought, you thought Groove in the Moo was deer, about music. Do we, we do have deer over here, actually, don't we? They're in, introduced. I know, yeah. I know we have foxes and rabbits. Yeah, we have foxes and rabbits, and um, I think there are deer introduced over here. Continue the poem. You're dropping some mad bars. You just need a beat. From Friday 6th of September 2019, a New South Wales game hunting license is no longer required when hunting feral deer on private land. Sick.
you know, like you just have to have pre uh, permission to hunt from the landowner, landholder, or manager as well. So, as so you can organize king hunts with your Novacostrian like dream. It's true. You can organize hunts and then go down like Robert Baratheon. Hmm. So that's a thing. You can have like uh, King. Both kills differently. It's up to you to do it right and humanely. Yeah, I mean they can, but doing right and humanely with a bow is hard. A lot harder than doing it with a gun. Like it's a lot. Work. You can. It's a lot easier to train yourself or be trained to hunt humanely with a gun than with a bow and arrow. Like it re requires a lot of high strength control. Whereas gun, you just need to be, you just need to aim it well and hold on to it well and pull the trigger. You know? <laughs> Black powder rifle. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are able to hunt kangs by permit, right? Um, I don't think you need a permit, depending on the situation. Uh, I, I don't think so. Like oh. kangaroo, they had the kangaroo call very recently. Yeah, like so. kangaroos, kangaroos are very cool. Um, other other native animals, you, uh, I agree, I've been shooting both since I was a child. Oh, there you go, cool. Yeah, we don't really have much of a hunting culture in, in Australia. Um, fishing, yes. Yeah, loads of fishing. Because um, we're an island. Well, we're a continent, really. It's, like, we're bigger than the US. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're bigger than sliced bread. And we are indeed yes, bigger I'm, than a slice of bread. I am, I am from a city slicking family, so like I have not grown up learning how to hunt animals. And I'm from the west, and that's still in a city. Yes. <laughs> the faction that controls the liberals. <laughs> are they? No, they're kingmakers. Apparently, pulling the joys. Apparently not so much at the moment, though, because, like, now there's two of them. <laughs> you know? Only um, two? Wow, so much choice. Well, there's two of them in the, in the state government. Yes. However... They're not even in the Mark McGowan, the new Labour God Emperor. <laughs> I'm seeing all the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the lashing, the, what is it? Like the react, like, so, like the liberals trying to make like a press statement on the, um, on the common sense brigade. What? So there was like, uh, there was like a press conference from some liberal MP and like, he just gets slandered out in the streets as he's <laughs> doing the news thing <laughs> by like, by like people who are aligned with labor. Yeah, yeah. It's like they they're just actively calling him out on the, on his BS. Well, that's hilarious. It's just yeah, it's on the Common Sense Brigade. Yeah, cool. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying that. That's it's good fun. Yeah, it sounds like. Ah, um, uh, this is heavy. But no, yeah, a king a king hunt a royal hunt. You can now do royal hunts. Sounds like fun. Also, like there's a so, lot of regulations around bow hunting. Class. Yes, you can't bowfish for instance. Well, I mean, there's that, but there's also like you need to be you need to be like specially trained to hunt with a bow and arrow because like, humane, humane <laughs> hunting. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. So therefore, we should hunt with paintball guns because that's more readily available. <sighs> okay. Now I gotta design the cup or the bottom of the banner mount. And it seems it needs to be that wide. That was an awesome end. Oh, you know. I want to see it. <laughs> it's uh it's uh not complete because we're trying to clean the stump that is here. So we, we, we got a stump in. It's very freshly cut. Um, so we want to mount it on this stump, but it's very freshly cut and we're still cleaning the sap 
bleeding out of it. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, we're getting there. I'm just, you know, putting some time into like clean it up. But eventually we'll mount the anvil onto that. But for now, you know, it's just on the table. So, yeah. So we have everything we need to make it a proper anvil. Could this be auto focusing? Hmm? Could this be auto focusing? Yeah, it does that. Why? No. Is it not? No. No, you're blurry out. Is it just focused on the table in front of me? No. Huh. That's weird. Uh, it is on the right setting. How, how would? How would? Oh, that's... Right. Oh, look. There you go. Oh, okay. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Well, the charging's not working. Oh, oh fuck. The, the light's not on. But, uh -oh. I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, something wrong with the connection. Up, upstream. Probably need, I need electricity now to look at it. Yeah, I'll bring it up with the council. Yeah. The council. Squared stunt. Oh, hey! Squared stunt, machined and clean anvil, very cool. Been working fine on this side. That was really smooth. Oh, it helped. Yep, so it is. Working fine on this side, he says. Yeah, now it uh, appears to be focusing, auto focusing again. Ah. need this like tiny square piece so actually like with this bit i'll hold it could you like cut it like uh sure give me a second i don't guarantee it'll cut properly but sure. actually it needs a little more okay so that's square okay okay just, i'll bring it out we're gonna go in a cut down that way so Ah, uh, working on the rail. You can come. You can come on the other side. I'm working on the railroad all the ding dong day. Yes, we are now working on the railroad. We are now back to 1920 Disney. Sheet metal work without gloves, bold. Yeah, apparently we're bold for doing sheet metal work without gloves. Oh, I did cut myself before. <laughs> so that that has already happened. <laughs> that has already happened. So don't you worry. So it can't happen again, right? <laughs> it's the law of averages or something. Right? That works. There's a certain, there's a certain, uh, that's how we avoid workers' comp. <laughs> we make sure everyone gets, gets injured on the first day of the job. If we ever had workers' comp. Yeah. Sure. We may not have thought this through, but oh, there might be a way we could fit this. No, we could fit it. Yeah, you can texture it. Mm. 
No, stop. Hammer tone. Yeah, literally. Hey, little kitties. Why do this? Here's a question. And I don't mean rapping. That's a new case of chocolate biscuits. Thank you, sis. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's bold of you to assume that I am bold. Nah, he's still got he's still got his hair. Don't worry about it. Hmm? You still have your hair, it's still very luscious. But Don't even bold, worry about it. Bold, not bold. <laughs> that is that court cot merger bold bold court cot yeah that's the court cot merger what are you on about linguistic uh. those two vowels merge in some dialects so there are there are dialects where the words caught and cot are pronounced the same. Cot, cot, for example. Oh right, yeah. In American English, in some some dialect, Southern American English, I imagine. I don't speak English. I speak American. Yeah. Um, the punch in what appears to be a form slash template is the punch in hammering for creating complex opinions. Uh, this is I'm punching holes for stitching in leather. So this is a gorget, neck, armor thing. Neck brace, neck you know, brace, what you give to someone in a car crash? Yeah. I'll uh, demonstrate by placing it on its wearer. Oh boy. Now show it off, to the, show it off to the, to the people. Turn. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um. Some people use it for BDSM. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, gorgeous. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Slowly but surely. Oh, uh, somebody forgot to bring me all, so I'm just using my thing. This um, improvised improvised punch, which is literally the uh, the pin from a, a screwdriver that I ran on the kind of. I mean, like, that's the beauty of a makerspace. If you don't have what you need, you just make it. You just, yeah, you just make the tool out of the tools that are already here. You don't even, don't even bring your own tools. You just cannibalize all the tools from the space into other tools. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's innovation, that is. Switching between the two hammers is just like... Got hammer because the pin, like the pin, is metal, and so I don't want to further fuck up this hide mallet. Um, but I don't. I also don't want to fuck up the face of the leather. So, Midwestern Michigan, and we pronounce court the same way as you were as well, guy. But how do you pronounce cot? Like a like a baby's cot. Like beer can and beer can. 
Um, like in Australian English, we say caught and caught um, for I caught something and the baby's sleeping in the cot. Um, but in Jamaica, we want a beer can or beer can. I could see that merger being in Jamaican English. Mm. Caught. Caught. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I don't know. I don't really I, I know very little about Jamaican English. Where are the Jamaican pirates in Cards of the Caribbean? They're all slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a truth bomb. <laughs> then don't miss the pin. Well, yeah, that's the plan. I wouldn't. Why would I miss the pin? That's silly. They're all slaves. Spicy. I assume you're saying don't miss the pin because you're concerned for my welfare. Because you're not wearing gloves. There are gloves over there if you want to put the stream to ease. Nah, live on the edge. Oh no, I missed the pin. He's trailblazing. I'm only gripping it with the. I'm only gripping it with the. Um, what safety stands in order to get a good grip on it? To get it out of the leather. What leather. safety standards? It doesn't have a handle, so getting it out of the leather is a pain in the ass. Just being a smart ass regarding concern of different hammers. <laughs> There's a high bot. Huh? <laughs> what really? Um just being a smart ass regarding concern of different hammers. <laughs> just being a smart ass regarding concern of different hammers. Yeah, go one. Oh wow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? Sometimes it snows on Mount Fuji. Sometimes haikus don't make sense. Refrigerator. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's my contribution to literature today. You had just enough syllables that it made a haiku out of what you said. Just being a smart. S-M-R-T. Smart? Just being a smart. S-M-R-T. That's a very fast way to end the game of Bioshock. What? <laughs> That's a very fast way to end the game of Bioshock. What is? <laughs> what you just said. Would you kindly? <laughs> Have you, you played Bioshock? Yeah. yeah. Played all. <laughs> like I said. That's a very fast way to end that game. Hmm. Would you kindly? Fuck off. All right, then. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> and that's how it ended. It's a good set of games. Did Bioware do anything else after the Bioshock? Was it really? Bioware? I don't think it was a Bioware. Yeah. Was it Bioware? I'm pretty sure. I don't think it was Bioware that did that. Yeah, Bioshock. Was it Bioware? I don't think so. I think it's a different studio. Oi, Google! Who fucking made Bioshock? I'm sorry, I do not Who speak Australian. Bioshock was about 2K games. Oh, 2K games, okay. That's what I said. Yeah. It wouldn't be so heinous as to name a game after themselves. 
Yeah, 2K have made a lot. They do a lot of sport games. I think their last... Was their last thing Last of Us? No, that was Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog did Last of Us? Really? Yeah, the Ratchet and Clank guys. That's Insomniac. Oh, my bad. Naughty Dog no, Man. no, the ba Crash Bandicoot guys. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter. No, I didn't play... I didn't really play oh, that. Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. Same orange fuzzy animal. What? <laughs> No! <laughs> Different game studio! <laughs> Same old orange fuzzy animal. Oh, yeah. He's a Ludex! And the other one's a precursor. Different. I have total faith in you. I think that can be arranged, Mr. Nuclear Scientist. Bam. You do say that a lot in victory. Sir? You do say that a lot in victory. What, bam? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a flame. I like a zam. Okay, now you're just singing Black Betty. <laughs> whoa, Black Betty. I am a lamb. Whoa, Black Betty. I like a zam. Whoa, Black Betty. I like a man of flame. Ba -na -na. Ba -na -na. Okay, Boomer, whatever you say, Boomer. Hey, C'est fini. Because I don't vie. have any thread. So that's all I can do for the moment. Because um, someone forgot thread also. And the needles. Yeah. Yeah. And everything else. Yeah. There goes the neighborhood. Well. Well. What'd you talk about, Willis? But. Oh, excuse me. Mike, I can cut a strap. <sighs> I can cut the strap for it. I better wear the glove, because, you know. No, I, I don't know the width of the buckle. Do you know what width of the buckle you're getting? <sighs> no. Does it look like I planned for this thing? Virgil's, right? I'll look at their catalog. Yep. Buckles, keys, and tips. Buckles. Um... Brass buckle, buckle blanks, buckle sets, full buckle, half buckle, strap buckles. I need to get strap buckles. Skate buckles. Skate buckles? Now you're just saying words. You want skate, skate buckles? Those kind? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Except the holes will have to be fairly close together. Mm -hmm. Like the, the hole punches that come out. I have to do fairly close together because it's very like fine tuning here. Twelve mil, sixteen mil, twenty mil, twenty-five mil. Well, what goes best on that? I mean, you have that amount of clearance, so. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess a fatter buckle is a better buckle. Okay. Um, you heard it here, folks. Fatter is better. <laughs> 93 cents. Sure. Yeah. I didn't expect it would be so cheap. God damn. Metal is cheap. Yeah. So are words. I should get some. So are words. Uh, 
25 mil. Okay, Boomer. Whatever you say, Boomer. Yeah, right. That's plenty. Bam, balam. Amber lamps. Well, Black Betty. Amber lamps. Amber lamps. Black Betty had a job. Amber lamps. Probably one. Do you want the straps to the same load? Um. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. Not, not just for the bedroom, but. <laughs> well, about to ask what material for threading would be used. Oh. Wax threading. Wax, thread. wax linen. Yeah, wax linen amber lamps. Um, what? Well, for... How you pronounce it? Nobody can fucking pronounce it right. All right. How does one pronounce it? Porque no los dos. Not porque nos los dos. Porque no los. Porque no los. <laughs> porque no los. No, not porque no los dos. Porque no los dos. Por qué no los dos? Sí. <laughs> yeah. I think you lost it. Yes. Por qué no los dos? All right. Por qué no los dos? Ba na na na, ba na na. <laughs> Your riff. Where the fuck's the ruler? Is uh, there a ruler? Measuring wall measuring tape too. Por qué lo no? Por qué no los dos? Se, 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 se por qué? Por qué? Por qué no los dos? No. Por qué no? Por qué no? Los. Oh, okay. <laughs> por qué no los dos? Sí. Da. Sto. Stroganov. Por qué no los dos? Oh, that's a wrap. Your broadcast hit the time limit. Yep, okay. Well, just, just restart. And then you can Where's set... the start stream? Yep, and then put a part two on it and change that to... It's it's not 45 minutes anymore. It's two hours. Yeah, yeah. Two. And then uh, you could drop the menu. And then uh, the artist studio. Por que no los dos? Welcome back, everybody. We, don't have any more we are now broadcasting from Transylvania. Oh, it's a three hour time zone now. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Where have I been? Not here. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. Por oh. Cheers, big ears. Stick, I'll stitch that fella together. <laughs> you can order some buckles. Make a strap, stitch that together. And we'll be in business. That we will. Okay, time to like bend this into shape. Oh, he's putting gloves on. Yeah, just for the stream. But nobody's watching, so who cares? Oh, we got three watches. Safety is number one priority. <laughs> he is very sneaky. Sir, really sneaky. Make sure he's safe, okay? Do that, do that. Make sure he's safe. That's they are building Chronosphere in very sneaky location, right next to Cuba. 
on the body. The right foot turns. Crisis on Misha. The Americans have developed very sneaky device called Chronosphere. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Sto means what? And eto means idiot. So what is? Uh, it is a device in um in it's like it's a super weapon in in uh in CNC generals where you could teleport units through time and through space. And Einstein exists in this universe for some reason. No, oh, but but alive, alive in that universe. Hitting metal with a hammer. <laughs> I mean, it's better than just watching the mice, watching the face making Russian noises. No, that's that's pretty good. It's still pretty good. It's better than what I got. Very sneaky device. Maybe I should have thought about the order of operations first. But uh, here we are. Because <laughs> this is going to be very awkward to like. Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> Oops. Your, uh, your. Your contributions are amazing. I'm here for you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks, bro. You got my back. At least, you know, when you're backstabbing it. Can we get that, can we get that facial expression again? I don't know what this is. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think it's the kind of thing you need something thinner, like a railway track for. Yeah. So you need something that will slot the hardy hole. Possibly. Oh, I mean, you, I guess you also need a horn. Yeah, that's it. You're not going to get a crisp edge. Yeah. And you want a crisp edge, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Bow, 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 what? I don't know. Like I thought we were being seedy. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just dipping into the song. Bow, bow. It's a meme. Bow, bow. Oh. Yeah, that. The sun. Beautiful. I am the sun. The I am the, the air. Moon. I am human and I need to be loved. Just like everyone else does. That was uh that was uh, the charmed theme song sung by Jason Jason Statham. <laughs> I am the sun, I am the air, I am human and I need to be loved. Just like everyone else does. Oh, what else is too tight? <laughs> yeah, this this could have been better thought through. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely having some troubles here. Uh, I don't have anything to deal with this. Or do I?
No, I do. <laughs> this episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Just trying to catch up to what's happening. I have to use a makeshift horn right here. Mm. Let's follow the action, folks. Let's go on an adventure! Come on! Okay. Oh, this is awkward. Are you just bored? Is that why you're just... Yeah, I what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> so... I'm waiting. so I'm practicing my sick cat skills. Sick. With, with extra C's. Sick. That's because I wear a turban. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fully sick. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> yeah, without gloves, my cat hands would definitely be cut. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Thorpe's Ian Thorpe and a uh, a supporter of of uh, six everywhere. Bad. Nope. Mm -hmm. That turned out better than expected. Hmm. Might get my friend to weld that. Got tired of camera work, I guess. Mm -hmm. Got tired of camera work, I guess. It's in, it's, it's in the shot. <laughs> I, I got, I got the shot. It's in, I got the frame. It's in, it's, it's all in the shot now. You know, just uh, hanging out. Yeah, hanging out with my wanging out. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, possibly. Yeah, this is you probably should be careful not to get, not to be hitting it on the on the edge. Yeah. Before you wreck the hammer. Not too much. It's, it's already wrecked. Yeah, it's but not, wrecked. No. Oh, what have we got there? Man's got the phone strapped. Yes. It's true. At least they're not saying, what's that on your wrist? Thanks for giving them the ammunition, too. <laughs> yeah. They're probably going to do that now. What's that on your wrist? each other very Move. 
Yeah, I have. I have. I have. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where did it go? There it is. Sorry, just zoomed in on your gut. Don't mind me. All right, so this is this is okay. Um, I think I'll get my friend to weld it together. I'll be back there. Let's get this thing. Okay, All right. Yeah. That, so this is how that goes. Yeah. What's this? Just a dowel. Yep. So this is the cup. That's the dowel. And then that ring is supposed to go on. So this. All right. So this is a, not standing up under its own power. What would the cup have been made out of? Uh, steel. Really? Yeah. Oh. So this goes through here, it's held in by the cup, and then now we have a better pole coming off this armor. Uh, do you have a, do you mean for it to be tilted back rather than going straight up? Yeah. Or to go straight up? Uh, I don't think it really matters at this point. Okay. Because like, if you attached something to jut it out further so that the distance between that and that is the same as the distance between there and there, you know? That uh, would be a good idea. Yeah, but this 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 looks fine. Yeah, yeah, cool. It's pretty fine. Well, what do you think? Well, it's probably gonna be like that. I don't know. My back's gonna be because like when I've seen banners like that, I've seen them going straight up. Yeah, but if you wanting it to go like if it's tilting back, then that's that's what that'll do. Well, that's up to you, man. What do you what do you wanna do, Bob? I don't think it matters too much. Oh, do you have an anvil? Indeed. I like... Oh, now I'm just bending over for the camera. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. It just feels kind of intentional at this point. <laughs> um, man's got the phone strap. Do you have an anvil? Indeed. I like anvils. Anvil Tron. That is a round anvil. What are we making today, lads? Samurai armor. On that note, it was mentioned earlier that he intended use... Training for what? Training for what? Yeah! Train down for what? Da -da 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 -da. Train down for what? <laughs> Train down for what? <laughs> Train down for what? What have we become? It's getting late. It is getting late. <laughs> Um, this is, uh, this is a banner mount that I'm trying to put together. But the question was, what are you training for? What training are you doing? Uh, I'm doing, like, Japanese sword at my school of martial arts. Um, so there's that. Hmm. That does feel a little... Just training in general. Why not train? Uh, I do it for fitness, so I, and just something that I'm interested in. Fitness yeah. and sport. Yep. Is it much of a sport? Or is it just kind of a martial art? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you compete? Do you battle? I do spar. Yeah. So that's that's as close as we can get these you, days. So actual swordsmanship. Yeah. Um, do you have a lathe that's forsaken at 55? Yes, we do. We do have a lathe. We don't have a wood lathe, but we have a head lathe. It's not very powerful. But it is, it's there. It's there. there. It Look at that, kids. It's a, it's a machining lathe. It's, um, <laughs> yeah. It's a lathe. Definitely a lathe. Turn down for what? For a lathe, I guess. <laughs> turn down a lathe? Never turn down a lathe. Never turn down a lathe. Yeah, I should have seen that coming.
Really? <laughs> It is. I'm getting crazy. Look at me. I, I'm getting crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Kill me. Do we have a plasma cutter? Do we have a plasma cutter? We do not. We have a laser cutter. We have a CNC racker, but we have no. There's a. Well. Yeah, yeah, stick welder. Stick welder but that's it's very basic. The opposite thing of a, of a plasma cutter. <laughs> oh no, you can you can actually use it to cut. It's just a very messy cut. You can use it to burn through things. Yeah, sure. true, fair enough, fair enough. Yes. But it's a very, very lousy, yeah, <laughs> la yeah. very lousy cut. Like. I imagine there's a, surely there's a torch here somewhere that you can use to... Hmm? What are these thick plates? Oh, those were. I was using those as weights to till a bow, but really? kind of petered out on that project. Yeah. I mean, uh. Looking forward to seeing you guys take up forging samurai swords. That would be cool, but that's probably in the realm of, you know, when you get a castle. <laughs> Maybe the samurai swords could paint the castle. <laughs> Did you ever think of that? There are a lot of weeds out there. It's that's the market. A, that's a very Trump thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a castle and the weeds are going to pay for it. <laughs> what a very Trump thing to say. <laughs> Drain the swamp. Yank01 says, get a, get a Patreon going, have a straight up four drops in the shop. Lol. Huh? Uh, Yank reckons we should get we should get a Patreon going, have a, a straight up four dropped in the shop. But we, you're getting a four, Jank. Uh, we, it's, there's a lot of uh, talk about getting one, so it's in the works for sure. Mm. The, uh, it's the safety stuff the risk assessment stuff that's complicated mostly yeah that's yeah that yeah. stuff yeah yeah all the red tape all the red tape and, you know, not doing it the same thing. i mean crusades aren't just what they used to you know you, you just declare jihad on on a city and get a whole bunch of people interested okay. make some swords and go out and invade a city going on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You, you want to go? To, <laughs> you want to go? To, look, if you want to go to Syria and steal a bunch of stuff, <laughs> you just got to learn Arabic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except this is not the most well-made cup I, I, I haven't actually been keeping up. With it. Hmm? I haven't been keeping up with the conflict in the Middle East. I don't know where the conflict is at. It's going on at the moment. Neither do I. It's just all I know. It's not settled down. Because isn't the war on Iraq still going? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Last time I checked, which was like seven months ago. Oh no, Iraq. Is that's 2011. Okay. Conflict in Middle East. What's going on? Middle East conflict. Conflict terms in the Middle East. Blah, blah, blah. blah. List of modern conflicts in the Middle East. Maybe we should make a music video, like Azerbaijan did. That'll get the recruits going. Iran-Israel proxy conflict is still undergoing. Fatah-Hamas conflict is undergoing. It's still undergoing. 
Um, Yemeni crisis, the Syrian civil war is still going. That's kind of the big one, isn't it? Iran Saudi Arabia proxy conflict. Mm. Yemeni civil war. Western Iran clashes. Iraqi insurgency. There's a lot going on over there, isn't there? Hey, the Middle East could settle down. You don't eat pork. I don't eat pork. That we... is a loaded question. Oh, God. The same box We cannot eat pork together. <laughs> you don't eat pork. We don't eat pork. Let's not, not eat pork together. Alan, I eat bacon almost every day. No, that's, that's, the, that's the Tim Minchin response to this Syrian conflict. Oh, is it? <laughs> It's like, so we don't, so I, I've made up a song to, you know, encapsulate <laughs> and hopefully find peace in the Middle East. <laughs> you don't eat pork. I don't eat pork. Let's not eat pork. It seems like that it's been that way forever. <laughs> you don't eat pork. I don't eat pork. Let's not not eat pork together. <laughs> Yank says the sandbox is wrought with conflict. Yeah. It's America's. It's America's sandbox. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like both sides are funded by various factions of the of the US, of the US and the US. So. It's 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 still the Cold War, isn't it? It's oh, basically, basically the Cold War. The it's Cold basically the Cold War. It's just moved to the Middle East. Like. It's still America and, and Russia. It's still America. Yeah. Like I said, you don't eat pork. We don't eat pork. <laughs> <laughs> Where the East and West come together. <laughs> yeah. What's even, is there much conflict going on in India at the moment? Hmm? Is there much conflict going on in Asia at the moment? Uh, Burma, obviously. North Korea. North Korea. What, what is North Korea up to these days? Testing missiles over Japanese waters. Yeah, okay. So well, that was that was so like two years ago. Yeah, so nothing's really changed. Nothing's really going on there. You know, South Korea just wants to release more more K-pop bands, but North Korea's just yeah, like... like just Japan doesn't really have any active conflict, does it? Huh? Japan doesn't really have any active conflicts, does it? Or China? Oh, they they take the they're, they're like you're launch, you're testing missiles dangerously close to Japan. Yeah, yeah. Um, we take we have some reservations about that North Korea. Rocket Man is at it again. What's Rock, what's Rocket Man up to these days, Yang? I don't know. He's the world police. He should know. <laughs> yeah. Or is it China now? Uh, well, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, is it America World Police or China World Police? Do you need to like reframe that movie? America's not going to be World Police. America, America. He oh. misses Orange Man and his hot wife. More testing. Yeah. yeah. Kim Jong Un, Supreme Leader. Da da. Blah 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 blah. Supreme Leader. Like that's that's legit Augustus all over again. Like that's what happened with Caesar. Like I'm reading, I'm studying Caesar Augustus at the moment, so, you know, like uh, Octavian, and like Supreme Leader is basically the same thing as what Augustus means. And Augustus was the title given to each of the emperors. It was like, ah, oh, he's the leader of our fair republic, and he's uh, supreme. He's the most august leader above all. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You don't like Greece. We don't like Greece. <laughs> Seems like it's in that way forever. <laughs> you don't like Greece. Just Iraq. Oh, okay. We I, don't. I really know what, what um, Greece's international relations is like. I, I only know like Greek ancient history. 
We cannot like Greece together. <laughs> like Pol Pot. Um, like I haven't really heard anything about anything going on in Southeast Asia. Like, oh, well, apart from Myanmar, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the Laos. The, the the Viet, the military junta has re retaken control of the government yeah. in 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 light of or in light of you know the democr the elections that were happening anyway yeah, yeah. they were just like we're not going to win the election so we're just going to take it by, take the country by force yes and then everyone's protesting it's like we didn't vote for this and then the military is like that's I'm... the point. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. Aren't you glad your parents were? Yes. Your dad, rather. Mum and dad. Oh, they're both. Well, my mum is also from. Oh, okay. I thought you said your mum was. Chinese. I think somewhere along the line, my family was Chinese. Oh, they okay. just, they just. But your parents both fled from that. Yeah. Right. What about you? Did you? Just, just came on a convict ship, did you? Oh, too far back. You know, you tried to do a Scotland exit, but then England was like, no! I think... Um, I don't know. I think, I think, they, mm, I think both, prob both sides probably from Scotland. Because Watsons could be English, but I think we're, we're Scottish Watsons. Scottish Watsons! Rather than like, you know, Emma. You do look like an Emma Watson. Introduce yourself as Hermione Granger. Go. Um, yeah, no, I don't know that far back in my family history. I only know, I know that my, um, I know that my uh, great grandfather on my dad's dad's side. Um, was a um, was a a big a big wig in the it was like a it was a it was a manager in the Commonwealth Bank and they moved around opening branches. Huh. That's as far back as I can go. That's as far back that, as I know. Your granddad. Great granddad. Opening branches for the Commonwealth Bank. Yep. Hmm. And then my, my grandfather worked for Commonwealth Bank, which I learned recently. He never actually got a degree. Yeah. Good on him. Well, I mean, he didn't get a degree because he was in the middle of doing it when the car crash that killed his wife. And my dad was well, five months old, ten months old. Right there. Um, it looks like a bad piece of shit, but... It's my bent piece of shit. <laughs> Just show us your bent piece of shit, Alan. It's a cup. It's it's all right. It's not exactly like great. Maybe I should have just laser cut it from wood. I've got bent shit. Bent you... shit. You've got bent shit. Let's have bent shit together. <laughs> Is that? I'm glad you found that worthy to be an earworm. <laughs> And that's probably our response to a really complex, really complex, like, human uh, experiences, you know, like... Usually the cameraman on the other side of the camera, but I'm ready to use today. Uh, we'll, we'll be filming something soon. 9.56. We are coming to the end of the evening. Yeah, it's... Yep. <sighs> So that's sorted out. Progress. Out of that. That's kind of progress. It's it's bent. You could probably. But I'll just I'll just say it's battle damaged. It's battle damaged. <laughs> what you could probably do um, with this is if you turned this into a like you bent that out so that the bracket go the bracket went out. Wow. You could get that distance on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. That's an option. Why you, you, you like it? You you like it sticking straight up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think I like I like my 
banners to stand to attention? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your point being? Uh, the other option is, is I can uh, shorten these arms. So like, I think it being further I could, away is, be is better than closer. I could, you know, cut that off and then rebend. Yeah, but I think it being further away, because then, like, like it's, it's right there, you know? So you don't have, like, room to tilt your head back to look up and stuff. You know? Yeah. Hey, child. This is yours, is it? One step ahead of a lower man. Yeah, it is. I'll just put it in the box. In the, in the tub. Rub a dub dub. Mail it in the tub. Da, da. You really are delirious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, hello. <laughs> hmm? You want to do anything with this? Um, yeah, maybe later. I'll put it rub a dub dub back in the tub. If you say so, <laughs> hey. Nothing phallic about that at all. No, I not swear at all. we've had that exact same comment before. <laughs> What are we talking about now? I assume the pole. About it sticking straight up. It doesn't help that it's made of wood. Get into it, boys! It's about two inches wide. What girth? <laughs> it's two inches in diameter! Look out, girls! Here he comes! Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Making giant noises. <laughs> Serious? I guess so. Mm. It's Gabriel, it's, that's the nearest noise that Gabriel Iglesias makes. He's talking about like giant things. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. So fluffy. I saw him, I saw him in person twice. I saw his show, seen his two of his shows. I think and you're... in the second show, he referenced something that happened at the first show, so it was all kind of, we came full circle. Full circle. Yeah, yeah. We played, uh, we played some, some, uh, joke, um, karaoke. Like he started off. He started off at one of his uh, one of his classic jokes, and then got to um, got to the uh, like not the punchline, but got to a point in it that was very distinct, and the whole crowd just called it out, and he was stumped and had to restart the joke, <laughs> had to restart the story. Um, it's when it's the um, the one where he's um, got the bug or the beetle or whatever, and he's going going to pick up Martine. Um, and, uh, when the, when the, the guy on the street is like, Orale! That's, uh, the whole, the whole crowd just, just, yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> yeah. And to restart the joke. Yeah, and we had to start the story all over again, because he was just throwing it. <laughs> and that happened all through the night. <laughs> Because everyone knew what he was going to say. Yeah, I think we've told that story um, at numerous shows since. Very insane. Alright, I think I'll get my friend to weld that together. <laughs> Is it done? Put it down now. I'll get him to weld it together, so it'll be a full cup, and then I don't know, like to, like to bend that outwards. Mm. Don't know. Maybe That's a question for another day. Yeah. Okay. I'll get it. Uh, I'll I'll ask to get that welded. 
that should be simple enough. Oh, uh, well, it's a scrap in. Uh, just not enough time. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Love it. Okay, I guess I'm Cinema Summary. Okay. Hmm? Stealing his bit. I am Cinema Summary. <laughs> All right, we are both cin Cinema Summary. All right. <sighs> Neither have I, but we are now it, whatever it is. Ah, uh, remember you put that tub uh -huh. back in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything else you need to do? I don't think so. You put everything you needed to, right? Yeah. All right. You don't eat pork. I don't eat pork. We like it that way forever. You don't eat pork, I don't eat pork, let's not, not eat pork together. Here we go. All right. That's... That is a wrap.